Road. I am open from 12 to 11, from Monday to Sunday. I'm closed on Mondays. Thank everybody that has been supporting me. Really, 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 all right, man. All right, yeah, I've been going down there getting them Thai chicken wings. I'm going to be popping. Got a little Thai chili wings. Yeah, down you, there. you definitely been representing, cuz yeah, that's for yeah, sure. I, I definitely got to give you that one, cuz we support our own. That's yeah. what I'm we do. I'm take some money somewhere else when I can bring it to you, cuz. Yeah, I know that's right. I know that's right. That's, that's what we do. That's What's up, good people who watching? Got cousin Lee in the building. What's up, Doobie? Rich? Taya, Yama, Benji, Nita, Ken. What's going on, people? I see y'all tuning in every week for the shenanigans is going down. So, cousin, I was just showing you this post where, did y'all see this shit? This little college dude in, in uh, Mexico was practicing uh, extreme yoga. They going crazy. And was hanging over a balcony on the eighth floor and fell, and she survived. So this woman fell off balcony while practicing extreme yoga, posing the pictures. I said, college student in Mexico survived and reportedly falling 80 feet. From a sixth floor balcony. That don't make no sense. You know how many feet that is? That don't make no sense for nobody to be that crazy to think that that's going to work. And, and if you see the picture, she hanging upside down with just her legs. Or she hanging on the outside. Yeah, like, like she was supposed to fall. I mean, what the hell? I think she was smoking. She just smoked on some of that good, good weed. Wow. Highs a gas bill. She like, I'm going to go try something new. Wow. And fell her little ass off. I like to smoke, but I don't want to smoke none of that. You yeah. know, God willing, she okay. And she, you know, she heal and get back right. But yeah, stop exercising. Hopefully walk. she won't be practicing no more than that bullshit. Yeah, walk. No more. That yeah. don't make no sense. Yes, what's going on, yes? Got our folks in the building, it's going down. They doing all types of bullshit today. We had our boy Kev in the building with us yesterday. It being some time today talking his shenanigans. I know y'all y'all uh, heard this. We supposed to have them t-shirts for you today. I forgot to make them. We supposed to be having them poverty spell t-shirts. I don't see what the ooh will do to you. Yeah, we got them poverty spell t-shirts. We gonna get them in and y'all make sure y'all get them. Y'all make sure y'all come on down to Little Ninja Apparel on 2609 Germantown Avenue. Call in 267-764-1106. Uh, we have our own clothing line. Come support us, y'all. We do custom T-shirts. Uh, we do uh, window decal. We do car decal, motorcycle shields, helmets, you name it. We can put something on it. Pictures. Some fanny packs, some slippers, some jeans, some shorts, you know, whatever you got. We can work it out. Y'all need Men clothes, backdrops. women clothes, and children clothes. Yeah, y'all need backdrops. Y'all need... Uh, Plates, tiles, with your initial on it. If you can come up with it, we can make it. We embroider sheets. We get down. If you can come up with it, we can make it happen for y'all. So y'all right. make sure y'all come down here. Support a sister. I appreciate it. I don't know if don't nobody else appreciate it. Because of, give I them that address it. one more time. Give y'all them hard address. on money. 2609 Germantown Avenue. Like I said, come on down. 267-764-1106. We doing big things for y'all. And we appreciate the support and the love that y'all show us down at the business, down at Goree's Restaurant. We sure enough appreciate it. You know, Thank you. Yes, we, we can't did. do it without y'all. And yes, it definitely take did. a bunch of people, you know what I mean, and take the love and support. The village. Own. We need the village back. So we need the village back. y'all definitely been stepping up and showing y'all love and support. Like, the store's been booming. It's picking up. I mean, people coming in. I'm doing all type of clothing lines and stuff. So I definitely appreciate that. That's I right. really do. It's good to stay busy because it's good Y'all understand it. If y'all been watching Facebook, y'all know I just came out with them new sneaks. Woo. So make sure y'all order them, Jones. Woo. Hot. Hot. Fire. Hot. Then yes, you got to be down in the mansion party to get yours. The first people getting their joints at the mansion. That's how we doing it. When you come right. down, exclusive shit. That's right. Then after that, y'all can go ahead and order them. So yeah. we're going to put them on hiatus for y'all. I know y'all mad right now, but I'm going to get to y'all. That's all right. We're going to wear them around the mansion. And I've been getting good love and support. You know, people been talking about them. They asked where they can get them from and all that. So I'm going to definitely get back to y'all and let y'all know where all this stuff is. Definitely, and I appreciate the love. I'm going to say one more time because I definitely can't do it without y'all. Yeah, GlobalTunesRadio.com. Download it. Subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe. If y'all don't subscribe, then y'all won't be able to tune in and pop up on the screen. So make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can tune in and y'all can pop up on the screen. Like all my people that's on right now who watching, if y'all go into the Global Tune app and uh, set up an account, subscribe to it, and then go on the... Uh, is it Philly Dop Hip Hop for Kev? I mean, yeah. shop. Yeah. Go yeah. to Philly Dop Hip Hop. Um, go on the um, live podcast where it says six shows popping on live feeds. Go on 8 o'clock and Wednesdays. Like, if y'all on now, and y'all can talk to us. We can pop y'all in. Y'all face a pop up. The people see y'all talking. So, y'all we'll see. Get it together. Yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe. When y'all subscribe, 
the button that says subscribe will turn into an envelope. When it turns into an envelope, you know you subscribe and you know you can go in and get all the content. Come on, y'all. Join us, man. Join us. Help Once us. Y'all, my rappers out there who got a little something going on, make sure y'all come on and uh, send me some music. I'm going to get my boy Shy to play some music on the app for y'all. So if y'all send me some music, make sure y'all got some cover art and we're going to get some music playing for y'all. We got a, a radio station down here and we trying to put all y'all Philly underground rappers on. You know what I'm saying? Get y'all a platform where y'all can come on down and play y'all music and, you know, get it heard out here. You know, because I know y'all can't get the media and the airplay that y'all want on Power 99 and 107 and all the big stations. That's so right. we got to play it at Global for Tunes Radio. So y'all make sure y'all get with us. Email, email me, uh, DM me. I send y'all my email or uh, message me. However, y'all know how to get to me if y'all need to get to me. Yeah. You know, and we do podcast shows. Show up too. to the store with a CD, something. You know, make sure y'all got some cover art with it. We're going to try to help y'all out with all that. Help us to help you. Exactly that. Help us to help y'all. But my boy Kev coming on, he going to get back to um, telling y'all how y'all can get on there, get paid for y'all downloads and y'all airplay. And like I said, we still going to do that class. We just got to get together and make sure, you know, it's proper. We got everything that we need for y'all, and we're going to do that class for y'all. That's right. Philly hip-hop. Philly hip-hop, y'all. Philly dot hip-hop. Philly dot hip-hop. Make sure y'all tune on to that. There's a new uh, social site. It's, it's like Facebook, Instagram, and all that. Y'all go and download all y'all media and y'all rap videos, and it's another platform for y'all to get all out there. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. We doing big things. We got a lot of stuff for you. And anything we know, we going to let y'all know. That's right. This sure. is the business. We talk about our business. We talk about y'all business. And we talk about the business at hand. <laughs> all the time. All the, the time. business at hand is this crazy bitch falling off the balcony. <laughs> 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 Looney Tune. Looney Tune. You go to the hospital, tap her on the shoulder like girlfriend. I know the first thing that the person, one of her friends, had to ask her is why. Just like why. Was you hanging off the side of a balcony? Yeah, like why. I got to see people do some strange shit, but you like, oh, I'm in the house. Mm -hmm. I'm eight floors up. Mm -hmm. I just want to hold on to this balcony with my thighs. Apparently her thighs ain't strong as she thought they would. Well, was was that a, was that where she lived at, or was that she a hotel she was running? Well, I hope she lived there. She wasn't just in no strange place hanging I on the balcony. So like, too, cause. I hope so, People is strange. Very. Like, it's hard enough to get down the street to the corner store at 12 o'clock at night without getting shot. <laughs> you just hanging off a balcony. Like, <laughs> For no people reason. People just don't value their lives. They are too willing to do too much crazy That's stuff. Right. And these extreme sports is getting too extreme yeah that don't even make sense man your, your brain is too extreme for you to think about it like where do you come up with this stuff at? like you gotta really be sitting in the house all day long well, uh, I'm gonna do something like well that. let I'm me just say this I'm life. not gonna blame it on no ooh wee guys cause I've been ooh weeing for a while and my brain ain't never come to me wanting to do a damn oh, thing no. on the balcony but smoke <laughs> that's what that balcony was for not exercise yeah well shit I mean you could exercise and just stay on the balcony side don't yeah, hang on the street side she did better running she was yeah. 60 floors what did you say 60 80 floors up that's too far guy that's the too far was? that's already nose bluey she already in the nosebleed section. He said she was 80 feet in the air, six floors up. Mm hmm Yeah. 80 yeah. goddamn feet. Mm -hmm. Why would you be 80 feet in the air hanging off the balcony? Mm hmm She fainted. You know, she fainted. I don't see no cigars. <laughs> Is she fainted? I don't see no cigars. Man. Solid. You forgot What's to. What's I forgot. Up, bro? I forgot. All right. I, I, was, I was chilling, but then I had to, uh, you know how y'all women get sometimes there. Uh, yeah, well, when, when is that month? Uh, uh, my son was talking about you too. Uh, you had the funny shit. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell you what he said about you. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell you what he said about you. Yeah, well, that wasn't the joke, though. You know. Okay. So, okay, my boy Kevin's well, gonna switch you. You know, he's gonna be on the side of his trash like he did. Yeah, I know. Within the last couple months, can y'all to get yeah. goings on or what's going on? Oh, don't do in that. The city, <laughs> round town. Don't do that, bro. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, yo, you only look real, bro. <laughs> yeah, what was popping in the city this week? I know you was out there. We know Philly hip hop was running around out there. Yeah, Kevin's our insight to what's going on in the streets because I don't. All really know music, I'm all music. He knows it. He knows. He knows where the clubs there. is at. I was in New York. Again? Yeah. You don't take me over there. I've been in New York like five years. I was over there saying, I don't know, I'm lying. I was over there two years ago. I was about to say, we need to go over there, cuz. Yeah, can we hang with you? you? Just went over with the family? No. Okay. Went over what made one of you. What you call Perry P. And, uh, 
Perry P from here. Perry P and Jazz Fresh got uh, awards. They got recognized by uh, the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. Oh uh, yeah, that's what's up. That's yeah, what's up. Like it was Harlem week, so they had a big. He always talking about who got the yeah. money. Apparently, yeah. he got the money because he yeah. be everywhere and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. get invited to shit. Mm -hmm. And I always he say, and I always say, broke. I guess so. All the traveling, shit, that shit ain't free. Yeah, that nigga ain't broke. I ain't yeah, gonna talk about shit. you, boss hog. We ain't gonna yeah, talk about you, boss hog. That's Big Willie yeah, right there. We ain't gonna that's talk about you, right boss hog. It's uptown. He throw a party nine times out of ten. He was in there. For sure. With, with, he with went a to big a party. He with a big ass there. VIP pass on him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hanging out with the slabs, doing what they do. He doing what he do. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, baby? Long time no see. Come out, let your girl. I'm no, still family. around. I'm still in the same place. Family, I'm still the same. Everybody doing all right? Kev ain't bring no cigarettes. Kev, I ain't got bring nothing. Poverty t shirts. we going to have them next week, though. Poverty we going to have them poverty t shirts next week. Yeah. Y'all told them motherfuckers to, fuckers to week, open some windows. Let got, it out. Like Let some up. sunshine in. I ain't good about to hold it, but I watched a little bit, but I, I was laughing in front of the chance. He's two idiots, man. What the fuck is the poverty spell? I'm like, talking about idiots. <laughs> yeah, we was, we was in our bag. That's what if we do. If y'all missed it last week, y'all need, when y'all finish watching this, go back to the last week's show and watch it in its entirety. <laughs> You're going to laugh. If you don't laugh, call me back. I'm going to come over y'all to laugh for you then. That <laughs> shit was funny. Well, that's what's yeah, I don't about know, it. but shit, your, your poverty shit was enough, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if they ain't get the email after that, I don't know what to tell yeah, this city, okay? I didn't even check my DM to see if anybody sent me any of them pictures. <laughs> uh, right here, people supposed to send you uh, pictures. Yeah, they supposed to send us some pics about the dirty houses. Oh, y'all, come on, y'all, where the pics at? We ain't get the pics yet. Ain't nobody want to get no fight. They all you got to go is to the next door neighbor. I you refuse. ain't got to go far. They like, I refuse to let y'all get me in a yeah, fight. Yeah, just go they, to the next door neighbor. Said, you ain't got to go far. and Kev, y'all not get me in no fights. Like, they got to take that ass with me, not us. They like, y'all talk all the shit y'all want. Y'all up there. You know what? I ain't seen none of them dumb ass pictures up on Instagram. No, I, I, yeah, I ain't seen none of them. I ain't talking about us. Mm -hmm. They just talk about us. Mm -hmm. uh, they done had a dirty girl meeting. Mm -hmm. Dirty ass basement room. And, and I know, and I know, no I know, I know, I know Michelle. Like poverty. Yeah, I know Michelle to take a picture to send it to him. Smell like dirty clothes, hammer. Come on, people. <laughs> you got watch your dry house in the basement. Together. And you got sixteen loads of dirty clothes. Get your house together. Have some shit. Damn. <laughs> Damn Ooh, that wee. That just, That's no, some funk. Listen, that funk. shit attached to your picture frame. I got a That's some funk, guys. I'm trying to get him up here because all he do Jeez. is bust on fucking people all day long. So one of uh, my homies name Gay. Gay funny and shit. So we down the way talking and shit. He talking about one of our other homies. The nigga said the nigga doorknob stick. <laughs> He like, that nigga rope stick so bad, his doorknob stick. I fell the fuck out. I'm like, what? Hey, he like, the doorknob door want to leave? The doorknob even one out. How your rope doorknob stick? Up. You know you fucked up with the doorknob stick. When you turn the nigga doorknob by your hand and be like, what the fuck? Well, that's fucked up when I can just smell your picture frame. Shit, I'm back to that. <laughs> fuck, who does that? <laughs> that nigga said you have picture stick. So if that's the case, then you got to stink. You so funky motherfucker. It means your you stink. stink too. That means not only do you stink, it means the house that you got that picture and stink so bad because it's a collaboration. And I hate to be a, a hater. The people that you hang with got to stink too. That shit too. is laminated into the picture. Yeah, yeah, your friends got to stink too. You got laminated funk. The company stink. Your company yeah. stink. <laughs> you said the company stink. So Y'all so bad the company smell. Uh, that Right. <laughs> that, that, that's a fucked up shit. Well, we ain't hiring. Let you know that now. At Gorey's Restaurant, we are not doing no oh, dirty oh, burps. What happened to the spread? What spread? Man, you couldn't oh, even come what? up with a cigar. You oh, talking about a spread? Uh, a layout. Oh, the layout. Yeah, I don't I'll know. See shit laid same out. Same phone call I ain't get. The same I'll phone call I ain't get out. about a cigar. You think I got one about a spread? Yeah, I, I don't see uh, that laid yeah. out. It, it's a little thin in here. It's a little thin. Don't yeah. over talk yourself, cousin. Don't okay, you I'm, I'm going to shut up. Yeah. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Okay. I'm going to get out of there. Don't you get it where you can fit in there. I'm going to get out of there. I'm going to leave that one alone.
I don't want no problems and fucking discrepancies. <laughs> Shit, we was on the half today and almost got in a discrepancy because a nigga hit another motherfucking truck. How you hit my Wait, truck and get out hollering? Just, like, no, he hit my truck? No, but he hit the bull truck and the, like he was going to pull off so the bull called him like, yo, yo, he jumped out with an attitude. Don't be calling me like, like he that. was what wrong. You hit my shit. He was, was about to leave. Yeah, he was going to pull off. He told me I was going up here to pull over. Where was you going to pull over? Around the corner? Because it was nothing but space and opportunity right there. You rode past all that shit. <laughs> yeah, he was out. Yeah, he was like, out. Don't nobody see me. I'm going to keep going. We yeah, knew what you was he doing. Better, he better be glad he yoked. <laughs> Same shit everybody else do when ain't nobody looking. I don't know one person who put a note on nobody's car. Oh, well, I will if I tear the uh, mirror off. I put a note on there. But any scratches and dents, I ain't doing nothing. He is I, lying. I'm just doing it for the mirror. He is lying. I'm just a mirror person. I don't know why he feels. I just need. haven't knocked off no mirrors yet, cuz, so I ain't had to pass out nothing yet. I don't know why he feels the need to have to tell a lie. No, I don't here. do that. I Let's don't do him. that. Let's I ain't got him. none of that in me. Nigga, I done seen this nigga pull up and the whole side of his motherfucking car was missing. Yeah, but that. So I, not only did he knock off somebody's mirror, I lost that part. He knocked off a mirror, a fender, half of somebody's door, <laughs> and I'm sure, that's how you 100% feel. sure, that's if how they you wasn't feel. out there when he did it, he I, kept it moving. How you complaining the name complaining? How I'm not saying you. they complaining. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know nobody who leave a note. I lost that side. I lost that side. I lost that side. And I'm sure somebody out there who will no, leave a note. I'm just saying I don't know none of them. You don't think nobody that you know will leave a note? Hell no. Well, what kind of people do you know, Kyle? Real? I know some real Talk folks. That's keeping guessing. Laws, law abiding citizens. Kev, I look. I thought you knew Kev, law abiding citizens. If you citizen. hit somebody car, you out one night, little tipsy, little toe up. Did that. You know, and you, you know, just get your luck. Did that. <laughs> you gonna leave a note if they ain't out there? He did right that. He told the whole tipsy, shit. I fuck around and be like, Yo, I just banged you. <laughs> My man. He said he's so drunk he go up on the step and knock yeah, on the door. Yeah, I Damn, I was a little fucked up. I eat your car. Yeah. Then, I probably yeah. then they, when they had the nigga's name, he could be like, "Hey, hey cuz, hey, cuz, it's three fifteen in the morning. He knocking on the door. Look, look. And then when they had his name, see it. I, he I could be see like, his drunk ass. Man. I can see. They be like, what the fuck you not gonna do it for then? Next time I'm gonna park your shit right there. <laughs> he gonna knock your car door and was cuss in him my out. way. Your fucking car was in my way. He gonna hit a park guard. Yeah, and how knock dare on the door. you park in that parking space? Right. <laughs> Behind six other cars. I hit all of them. But I hit yours the best. So how the fuck your shit must have been sticking out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, he have tagged. He have tagged cars at that time at night. Yes, he had. I'ma just say if I hit your car. Yeah, right, me personally, if I time. hit your car. One time you uh, called me, one time you called me on a late night stopping. joint, and you told him before, as a matter of fact, Kev. Oh, you really I don't got enough energy to sit up here and lie to y'all. I love y'all to death. So the best thing I can well, do for y'all is to tell y'all like the truth. You got a twin, Kev. I just want you to know you got a twin, Kev. I have two Coronas. I'm not stopping. I'm going to hit your shit. I'm not even going to check my car till I get home. Girl, you're not going to stop for a half a Corona, let alone some fucking Right, two. you know. If I'm on two Coronas, I'm going to tear your shit out the frame. And I'm going to tell she you. might back up and hit I'm that motherfucker. I'm not going to check and, my shit till I get home. And I don't want nobody to see me checking my shit. Know, talking about, shit. oh, it was Because that's no, telling on me. yourself. That's telling on yourself. Well, you got to see me do it to say it was me. It's a lot of other people who think just like me. It's somebody out there hitting somebody's car right now and they leaving no note. And they ain't stopping either. Probably a friend of mine. I ain't going to say no names. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, probably I'm, is. Come on now. Probably y'all know y'all ain't leaving no notes. How many of y'all going to leave a note? Y'all leaving notes? Ain't none of y'all leaving no goddamn. I know Richie ain't leaving a note. Somebody put their hand up and they're leaving Richie no. crashed my motorcycle and if Come I wasn't on, outside, I he wouldn't have told person. me. Ain't nobody leaving no goddamn notes. I know one person that my cousin know will write a note. Will somebody put a hand up, please? He, he ain't writing no notes. Please, sir. Well, well, I ain't. You wait I, for Richie. I ain't put my hand Cousin, up. Cousin, Richie will hit your car, and if you ain't outside, you put shit out of luck. <laughs> he run right around the corner and come I'm going to say again, he like, crashed my hey, motorcycle. Cause? And if I wasn't outside, I wouldn't have known. He would have parked that shit right back on Richie, the sidewalk. Richie, 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 we raised you better than that, man. Least, least you, Richie. Send me a hand, Richie. I know you gonna leave a note. 
My boy ain't leaving no new. <laughs> he ain't gonna leave no to his mama, so you know the stranger ain't gonna My boy ain't one. leaving no damn note. <laughs> ain't nothing like knowing your kids, listen, though, girl. I know like, he ain't leaving no note. Ain't nothing like knowing your kids. Right? Yes, I know you done got tore up. Look, he like, nope. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> he ain't leaving no note. Yes, I know you ain't leaving no note. Right. Yeah, you ain't leaving no damn note either. I know you ain't leaving no note. Y'all ain't leaving no notes. I don't know nobody leaving well, no I notes. Well, I see ain't nobody putting up their hands, so you right. You right, guy. Yeah, nobody yeah, you know will yeah, leave a note. Yeah, yeah, ain't nobody leaving no notes. Yeah, I, I see. Because I, I, I don't know who you come from. Uh, well, you let me know. You hit my well, car, I'm leave only a note. leaving a note if I knock the mirror off. I got to knock the mirror off for me to leave a note. Look, nigga, Stan popped on. Stan can't even drive. Stan ride a bike, a, big, a fucking pedal bike. If Stan run into your goddamn car with his bike, he ain't leaving a note either. Damn. <laughs> go scrape bike signals ain't even leaving Listen, a note. He gonna scrape the whole side of your fucking car up. He ain't leaving shit. Shit, somebody Whoa. just scraped my car the other day with a damn bicycle. And I know it was a bike because it was down on the fender. And it was a thin line and it was black like the little rubber that be on the handlebars. And you went up the street riding when you left looking for that kind, that yeah, color bike. Lying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I, I told you I kicked the kid ass. I know you guys. <laughs> Listen, don't be riding your goddamn bike past my car. All that goddamn street out there. Why you got to keep riding past my goddamn car? They better paint their bike. You better paint your bike. When I get some money, I move into a house with a goddamn uh, with a garage. I need some way to park my car. I done got more windows broken, Parking more mirrors man. knocked off. I done got Parking hit by mansion. more bikes. Uh, I done got hit by a bus. Parking in the mansion. Oh, shit, that's where we're going to park. we definitely going to park in the but front But then what I'm going to do the next week? In the back of the mansion. What I'm going to do the next week? Parking in the garage of the other house. That no, nobody know about Wait, shit. God, dang, if I wish I had a house with a fucking garage, all the toys I got. talking about why I ain't been around. You know more shit than I know. Richie God, like, no note. Did you see your cousin? No note. I already know, guys. What your mama said, I already knew, little guys. <laughs> I already know. You ain't even going to fuck around and kick their car more before you leave. You talk about a note. A nigga said, I'm leaving the car. <laughs> He's talking, talking about. Oh, yeah. He said, fuck a note. I'm going to leave the whole goddamn car. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. All right, Hector. I got you. I got you. Hector said, I'm leaving the whole car. Fuck a note. I'm taking all my shit out of here. <laughs> and I'm taking the VIN number with me. <laughs> Okay. They gonna be out there with the a license driver. plate, man. Take the license plate with you too, actor. Tell fuck that. I'm gonna pop these fucking living numbers. I ain't leaving. Listen, I ain't leaving no note. I'm sorry. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm not leaving a note. You, you got listen. Got, you you got listen. Man. Let me tell you something. Cause they go to twist. Now, what if you get caught while you leaving a note? But would you want somebody to leave you a note? No, fuck no. Okay, so it's all right if somebody scratch your shit. Because I'm going to want to fight, and, and then I catch you with the note, then I'm going to call you, get your address, come to the house, down the and note, turn into a fight. <laughs> I'd rather you just leave. Either way, it's going to be a fight, huh? bit, And then that's what insurance is for. <laughs> yeah, but you leave right. a note, I'm going to come visit you and shit. I know that's right, because you thought they were trying to be smart. I don't know address. I'm going to say, I hit your shit, fuck you. Oh, well, you leave one of them <laughs> notes, then I can laugh. You got to tell the insurance company something. Cussing nobody out. No, I be laughing then. I be yeah. like, I got hit my whole asshole. Like, this nigga did some dumb ass shit out of there. Now, that I do. <laughs> like, I hit your shit and then I give you parking 101. Bitch, when you park, turn your fucking wheel to the curb. Like, <laughs> I tell you dumb ass shit. Make sure you put your front in. Don't leave your ass out. You know what I'm saying? Don't park on the street as little as fuck. Put, tuck your mirror in when you park. Like, I hit your car and leave you a motherfucking note. That's the only note I'm leaving, but I ain't gonna have none of my information on it. And I'ma write that shit with my left hand. So just in case you catch me, you they can't tie that shit back. Hand right, huh? <laughs> when a motherfucker judge say, well, write down your name on the I'll piece be like, of paper. I'm like, sure can. <laughs> that motherfucker you know, gonna say Mike Stevens. <laughs> I'ma write that shit with my left hand backwards. Like yeah, I'm bipolar, gonna, dyslexic. The motherfucker gonna come out saying Mike Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> I write everything fucking backwards. Fuck you. Listen, bitch. You gonna make sure the fuck you don't get caught. Next time, right. move your park, motherfucking car. Right. That shit was in my way. I was trying to drive on the sidewalk. What the fuck? So if y'all see my cousin coming down the street, you motherfuckers better pull over like y'all parking. Get the fuck out of her way. Well, I know a bunch of motherfuckers. Waldo, you think Waldo won't leave a note? Fuck. No. You think Shag leaving a note? Nope. And, I, and that's crazy. Uh, I can see all them kicking the car before they leave. <laughs> that's fucked listen, up. Yeah. I see my boy no, Ag no, no, I definitely up. wouldn't see them leaving listen, no notes. I see my boy 
tear some shit up. I'm talking about running to a wall, through a fence, at a cookout, and try to get up and leave. But the niggas at the cookout knew me. Like, yo, where you think you going? Like, yeah, you tried nigga, we know that shit. Like with it. We know that shit. Where the fuck you going? Like, yep. Nope. They not doing. You running to somebody? Shit, like, oh, I'm out. Nigga, like, yo. You going? Oh yeah, they ain't leaving no notes. Come on, course, like, come on, nigga. Any other time, not tonight. That's crazy. Yo, my boy Ab is a fool. That nigga hit somebody huh? gate, oh, tore up the gate. Listen, maneuver they steps around, you know, shit. Did he all leave or did he hang around? No, he left. Oh, okay. He left. I mean, shit, they knew he was and where he lived, so it was he couldn't it go far. But it didn't matter, huh? It didn't even matter. Motherfucker gonna knock on your door. Like, yo, uh, you know you just tore up my car, my house, and my fence around the corner. You, you gotta go tell the motherfucker what you he did to that. your yeah. shit. You didn't see that? Yeah, yeah. I know you got a concussion and your head went through yeah. the window. He, yeah, but you he ain't deserved, see. He deserved an ass. You ain't see the whole side of my house you tore the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah he deserved an ass with the Yeah. He go to fuck, shit. especially to go home and try to get in the bed like the fuck he tired. Yeah, like you ain't did shit. Like <laughs> yeah, he get in the bed, he like, he the fuck tired. He they tired. They go to your porch when you yeah. wake up in the morning because they been knocking on your door all night, but you was in a deep coma-like sleep from that concussion. Mm-hmm. You wake up in the morning, they sit on your step like I've been out here since 3 in the morning. <laughs> you like, what the problem is, bitch? You, what the problem, nigga? Yeah, Feel that hickey on the front of your forehead. Take a walk with me, nigga. Take a motherfucking walk with me. Let me show you. What you did last night. If you had nerve to go to the fucking house and go to sleep, and I was up all night, shit. That's an ass whooping cousin. I don't even give a fuck if he was my cousin. I'm gonna whoop his ass. That nigga said, you shit, he wants some case money. Listen, the way they come around the fucking corner, you scared to cross the street, let alone be in your car or park. They be out there playing basketball, you know black folks. We put a court up anyway. They got a court in the middle of the street, one of the busiest streets in America. <laughs> but listen, they play fucking pig all day and be like, yeah, well, if you get hit and you make yeah, it, that's game. Pig, like, man, they <laughs> pig. Those are the rules when you play in the middle of the street. Yeah, you get hit by a pig. car, you make it, that's game. Give me all the money. And you're going to so. need that shit to pay that high ass ambulance. <laughs> yeah, well, that's cool because the ambulance right there from. So they going, at least they going to make it to the house. Listen, you want a ball like me? I'm taking an ambulance to the mansion. Y'all think you I'm take, joking. You taking what? I'm taking an ambulance to the mansion. To Listen, the mansion. The ambulance is the to? most expensive ride in the city. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get sick and take an ambulance ride. Yeah. When you get that bill, that yeah. shit be like 1300 yeah. Don't get an aspirin and a drink of water. Yeah, I stop, I stop calling the ambulance. 2200 Fuck that. I they don't play the no radio. They don't even bring you the fuck back. Like for twenty two hundred, you should drop me off when you pick me up. Like after they wheel me yeah, out the hospital, I should, hospital, I should be able home. to call you back and be like, "Yo, yeah, I'm I done." Get a ride home, you fuck around. You know what I'm saying? For twenty two hundred, that's the least y'all can do. That's right. Yeah. And can y'all play some Meek Mills while I'm in this motherfucker? Little Pay Bell, little Doobie Brothers, any motherfucker thing? God damn, for twenty two hundred. Yeah. Fuck aspirin. My motherfucking cup of water should come with ice in it. They give you a little ass cup of Dixie cup of water. That shit is hot as piss. <laughs> Your aspirin come out of there, they don't even give you the good aspirin. Like, they'll give you Advil and shit, nothing with no coat on it. They give you the back in the day bear aspirin and shit. They chalky as fuck. They like three pills in one. They give you that bullshit. And then you're going to charge me $2,200. You help me the fuck out. You ain't had no Pepsis in this motherfucking nut. Now, I swear to God. Yo, I'm taking a good. I ain't going to swear, but listen. I'm taking an ambulance to a mansion. Y'all know anybody rent, rent out ambulance ride? I'm going to the mansion in the ambulance. Ain't nothing balling, balling like an ambulance ride. That's going to cost, guys. You got to think. That's, not, you, that's but, gonna cost, You got to think. If I rent a, a goddamn Bentley right now, I can get that shit for at least eight hours. Maybe I'm, for 2200 I should get that shit for two days. But that can't even get you to the mansion. For an ambulance? You still have to walk or get a An ambulance, they give you a three-minute ride for 2200 They turn the light on and run every candle. block. So you know that ride fast as shit. That's like shit it might take you fast. 20 minutes to ride the temple. It's going to take yep. them three and a half. They got the lights on. People move out. They got their way. So you charge me 2200 for a two-minute ride with no Pepsi, no radio, these thick-ass aspirin and some hot water in a dipsy cup. So if you don't drink your water right away, your cup start leaking. 
<laughs> this is what the fuck I paid twenty two hundred for. Is this, don't laugh, yeah, it's like real talk. I'm taking a fucking, I'm taking a goddamn ambulance to the mansion. I'm talking about turning the fucking lights on and everything. Y'all better run every fucking thing for my twenty two. I'm right right behind you. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, y'all just get I'm the fucking ride, line. Right behind you. Be okay. like we the family of the person in the ambulance. Yes, yep, yep. That's just what the fuck. The guys pull us over. I'm gonna lay right down on the ground. That's my motherfucking wife in there. She having my baby. Fuck <laughs> that. Okay. My wife in there. She she pregnant. They pull me over. I'm a sticking pillow under my Matter shirt. Matter of fact, officer, can you get in front of the ambulance? We can go faster. They be like, "What hospital are you going to?" Man, like North Carolina at, General. Yeah, yeah, she at the mansion right now. We got. We going to North Carolina General. Yeah, that's where the doctor. Is. We gonna take her yeah, to the doctor. Shit. The doctor is at his mansion. She got a special ailment. Yep. She needs. She need a specialist. Yeah, she got tranomolola. <laughs> Could you imagine t- taking a fucking ambulance? <laughs> she got fucking, uh, North Carolina. Could you imagine the tab on that shit? Yeah. Could you imagine the tab on the ambulance for a North Carolina ride? Man, I can imagine that shit going to Canada. Like you that pull up in North Carolina, North Carolina, that nigga Carolina. hit his meter, he be like thirty two thousand. He be like, he be like, nigga, this shit only took hundred and twenty dollars worth of gas. What and the I'm fuck? gonna tell him to get out. I own this motherfucking ambulance. <laughs> fuck you talking about? You <laughs> get, gotta get back. For thirty two thousand, he got to walk home, my fuck cousin. You talking about? That's my truck. Shit, fuck you talking about? <laughs> I'm going to ride more to the mansion. I'm going to ride around that whole city. Wow, wow. Just picking up people. All fucking day. <laughs> Get your money wow, back. Wow. You're going to be intercepting ambulance calls. Yeah. They're going to show up. You're going to already be there. Shit. I'm going to be at Walmart. Like, no, I got this one. Wow. I got this one. Got to get my money back. I got this one. Fucking right. I'm going to give you two of them thick-ass aspirins. Try to get my money back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fuck you talking about. Mm-hmm. And he better leave me the keys to the medicine fucking box. Ain't shit in there, but add a fucking up. Uh, fuck for that kind of What's the shit they shoot in the IV? You got a ger- adrenaline and aspirin. Then that's well, a deadly that's fucking right. combination. That's, right. that's an upper and a downer. That's all right. I can go to Kensington to sell this shit. You gonna be riding around fast as shit, picking up people. As soon as you get to them, you gonna fall asleep. Nope. I'm gonna ask the motherfuckers for twenty dollars and keep on moving. Drop them all. Who did what? On a wave runner. Poppies. Poppy he said it was a poppy riding yeah. around the hood on the wave runner. You think I'm making this shit? Up? I yeah. do think you be making this shit. This up. one, yeah. This one. Where's the water? You oh, need the water. Some shit you heard down, down the waterfront. This some shit riding you heard down the waterfront. Oh, he done put tires on this bitch. <laughs> a poppy, oh. the, the poppy that turned the wave runner into a four wheeler. That might oh, be. Shit. That got to be in California. Kensington. Kensington. It said meanwhile in Kensington. <laughs> The poppy, the t- the poppy got two wheels. It ain't even. What the fuck? He got this shit on the motorcycle frame. I don't believe. Yo, that. but it's lean, mean. Yeah, Cause you know you can lean hard as shit on the wave runner. Uh, yo, I don't believe it. Yo, I, I want one of them. That ride is comfortable and shit, don't it? Y'all think we lying? Look at this shit. Cause poppy is riding through the hood on a white and sky blue. Wave runner. <laughs> and, and he got music on that bitch. Only poppies. Yo, he find that poppy. Find poppy. Tell oh, poppy I need to ride that shit. Listen, find poppy. You need to find him, kids. Yeah. Tell yeah. poppy he can come up on the show. I'll get one of them guys. Yeah, he I can make you. me one of those. I'll get one of them guys. I don't want to buy it. I just want to ride his shit a couple times. Y'all ain't lying. That motherfucker looks so comfortable, guys. Poppy got a wave runner. And you know what thing a wave runner? You sit with your feet out. So that shit like sitting in a recliner. That shit is better yep. Yep. than sitting on a four wheeler. Yep. Or sitting on a can That That's right just up. comfortable. Because he got the piece in it. Hold that your feet under me. That motherfucker had brakes to stop. He got worried about your shit falling asleep or nothing. Everything on your hand. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Boy, I love the poppies. Yeah. Fuck what you heard. And don't nobody love the poppies. I love the poppies. Not me. Poppies like niggas. They like Not black folk. Well, poppies is niggas. They niggas too. Not me. Yeah, all I love you the know, poppies. What you, say? No, what you say? Not you? Nigga, you racist? No, 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 no. It's just their voices I'm racist to. I ain't racist to I like them. the poppies. I don't let fucking men. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I racist. like the poppies. I'm racist to their voice. I'm not racist to the people. The people is all right. I like the poppies. I'm trying to learn some of that they shit. Are, they ain't did nothing. And then my man, my homie, my one of my friends right here. He, I think he got some poppy in it. He possible all my poppies. I don't know. He got Dominican, marshmallow, Mexican. 
he got something in it. And he be with me. Yeah, this is my man I be with. He calling you a mutt. He trying to Mexican say you a mixed breed. He I say don't he don't know what you is. You Mexican or Puerto Rican? Uh, which one are you, Mexican so, or Puerto Rican? I'd be wrong if I fuck my homie up on well, you. Well, well, yeah, you will be wrong. Oh, you definitely will be wrong. And it's a one-on-one. I, I, you I, definitely I'm will be. be oh, we're definitely going to be a one-on-one. Because yeah, you were just sitting in your seat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He going to pick up his lighter now. He no, no, no. He going to no, lighter you no, to no, death. He going to say you my man. He my man. I ain't going to make you remember you at Transilly. Shit, I ain't gonna need that much flashback. Four deuce. Now you four deuce. No, the fuck, all right. All right. No, the fuck, all right. All right. I was just telling you who I was talking about. Shit, what's going on, Shit? Who I was talking about, brother. You talking that hate shit. That cousin Shit in the building. It's going down. We appreciate y'all. Y'all really been tuning in and all the shenanigans and the bullshit. And I know we got a lot of shenanigans and bullshit with us. We do. I apologize ahead of time uh, for some of the shit that we say sometimes. And I apologize for my unfiltered mouth because I know sometimes y'all can't take the shit. Like, y'all don't be ready. I, I know if I could be there with some of y'all, yeah, y'all motherfuckers be like, I wasn't ready. I know y'all don't be ready for I this shit. Thank no, you. I'm not apologizing for saying what I say. I'm apologizing for catching y'all off guard because I know some of y'all be in mid drinking a soda and soda spitting that shit. shit all across the floor. Yeah, okay. yeah I know. We got a lot of shit with us. Yeah. We do. We talk about people. But it's good shit, though. <laughs> we don't really give a fuck about who we talk about. You know, we really don't. We ain't shame. We be calling people names the fuck out and shit. I mean, I'm surprised one of us ain't gotten a fight right now. That's all right because we can fight. That's for sure. Yeah, but I'm too old. I only got like one good fight left well, in me. Well, that's all right. We ain't going to put ourselves in those kind of positions. Yeah, I mean, I got one good fight left in me. Well, it's a good one. Yeah. So if you show well, up with me. that bullshit, you're going to get it. You come with that bullshit. I got a few for No, me. I got one good yeah. fight in me, yeah. shit. I mean, I don't feel like you should be fighting after 40. No, I, I mean, ain't. I'm going to bust this shit. If you 40 years old and you out here still getting in street yeah, fights, you need your shit, ass but it ain't gonna like, be with I don't want to enough ass back in the day where I could just live off my reputation. I don't really need to fuck nobody up. I just be like, give a bitch a look like, bitch, you know, I will bring it. Listen, I will tie these fucking Nikes up, and that old bitch will slide back up. Listen. That you, got. What's up? you see them? Do you like them? Yeah, yeah. they mansion sneakers. Yeah. They call mansion sneakers. Uh, yeah, you got to be coming to the mansion to get a pair now. Why well, I don't have a pair. Because you're not coming to the mansion. We keep asking. Well, you, know, you can't even pre-order them yet. Yeah, we keep asking. Yeah, shit, you know, right? asking. So why I can't? What the fuck you mean I can't pre-order? Nobody can, not yet. They your shit. Right, tomorrow. So we'll I, I, tomorrow I need a pair. Tomorrow we get a pre-order. Wait, I got you. I need a pair. Right, I got you. Eleven. Elevens? Yeah, God eleven. damn, big foot ass nigga. His foot so big, he got paid twice. He be like, fuck the sneaker, just send me the box. I'm sorry, I'm 12, so. Oh, yeah. shit. I don't think we go up. I, I think. had a pair already. I should have me. I don't even got a pair. You can't have a pair before we have a pair. I'm to have a pair. Man, please. You I, for, team I forgot he is he exclusive boy. He exclusive boy. He's he supposed to get shit crazy. for the motherfucking shit. He supposed to have a pair before us. He exclusive uh, crazy. Okay. He said, if I can't get him first, well, I better said, get mine uh, when y'all get yours. I don't care what your other partner said. I need yeah, I ain't hear him behind the sheet. Oh, yeah, we gonna get it popping. Got them joints out here. Yeah, that good Italian leather. Come on, y'all. Support us, man. Support us. We making them good Italian leather. I got so much shit coming out. Y'all gonna be good. And the all footwear gonna be crazy. The footwear definitely gonna be crazy in this joint. We gonna come down to Little Ninja Apparel. The footwear gonna be crazy. I ain't talking about none of them bobos, none of them $20, $20 sneaks, none of that shit. I done vinyl doing my damn self. I ain't doing none of that. You come down to Little Ninja Apparel. We gonna have a good good. Huh. You know what I mean? That good Italian soft leather. That shit you could Butter. wear to work in the morning and Butter. to the club at night. You know what I'm saying? Versatile Butter. shit. Butter. You know what I mean? That versatile shit. Yeah. What, what Tyrese call it? All purpose, baby. Yeah. We got the all purpose sneakers you can wear to work in the morning. Right. Wear it to happy hour. No all Chinese, purpose shit. No Chinese made. No cheap no looking Chinese shit. Made. You know what I'm saying? This real good shit. You know what I'm saying? We got y'all. Oh, and there's more shit to come. We just put our foot in the water. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and splash around a little bit. We're yes. going to get it popping. Oh, it's definitely more to come. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We That's definitely what we're going to do. We're going to show y'all how to live out here. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all come on, get y'all paid. You know all my folks. Y'all know y'all got access, boy. If anybody else get access. So we Treat yourself. We get ours, Don't cheat y'all yourself. Y'all can get y'all's, and let's pop it. That's right. Treat yourself. So Don't for the cheat low tops, yourself. The low tops is 169 The uh, high tops is 229 
Okay. But I mean, shit, I just bought a pair of Nike Air Vapor Max for 180 and them shits wasn't even leather. So yeah, come on, get y'all some of that good Italian leather. Like smell this good. Leather we got. Yeah, it smell good. It like a you new know car. real leather, it smell good. That's the shit. leather smell. It got like the, the new, new car, car smell. Yeah, it got a new car smell. Yeah, come on, on now, you get that new foot smell. Yeah. So your feet don't smell like yeah. poverty. It's called leather. <laughs> get them new sneaks. Yeah, it's called leather. Joan, what's going on, Joan B? What's up, B? It's called leather. B the most traveling this motherfucker in the city. Y'all think I travel? Shit. I ain't got shit on her. She done been around the world four times. That's what's up. That's what's up. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Oh, yeah. She definitely boogie. Plus, she got a job that she travel for a job. So, she got the best of both worlds. She that's be out. Good. That's good. Yeah, you know I mean, good. I know that's right. She, uh, that's she be good. out, huh? No, she, well, she like a nurse or something. I think she like a nurse, but they, they do the mobile trucks and all that. Yeah, she be That's out. Right. They be doing that shit. She getting that bread. Blood pressure. She, 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 blood she ain't coming down here. She to come and check my blood pressure. Oh, here you go. Uh, well, she can hear you. So if she, she feel like everything. checking your blood pressure, she'll come check it. But he I, on everything. He on everything. Ain't nobody. Come check this he blood. shit high because he, he sit here he drinking that yet. Yet, put your blood pressure up. <laughs> yeah, no, them yinglings. Them yinglings put it up today. I don't know. Them yinglings, that's good quality. Uh, you know that's my gonna, man. He's a quality dude. That's 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 a lager. That's a good quality yeah, he's ale. He's a quality dude. <laughs> you know he drink good shit. Yeah, he don't come here with no bullshit. He don't come here with no cause no like to no bullshit. That's bulbizes. because he learned how to treat himself and not cheat himself. That's because he got all the money. I'm still trying to get some VIP passes to some of these parties he be at. I be stalking his page and shit. Like let me see where Kev at. Lined up. Yeah, Kev lined up. Can we party with you, Kev? Hey, huh? Can we party with you? I'm trying to party with y'all. I'm trying to get, find me a way to get a, um, trying to find a friend I can borrow a 4x4 four four so I can make it to the mansion. Yeah, right. I'm trying to borrow somebody 4x4 four 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 too so I can take it too. I got a rent. I need a pickup truck. I got a rent. I got a rent. It's just the punk ass city, city of Philadelphia yeah, booted by a goddamn truck. truck. truck we can borrow. And I go back and get it. It was a bad decision. It was yeah. a good decision then. Now I need that bitch. I'm like, I should have went back and got my truck. Does <laughs> anybody have a pickup truck we can borrow? Yeah, just let us know. Park. It be up. Let us know. We appreciate you, too. We sure enough will. And we'll bring that shit back full of gas. Don't even worry about it. I got you. I ain't going to bring your shit back on E. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I tune yeah. your shit up before we leave, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your oil changed. Yeah, and that ain't really that. for you. That's for me. I gotta make sure we can make it. You know, motherfucker be like, I did you a favor. I told you, bitch, you ain't do me no favor. You want to make sure you can get there, right? <laughs> no, no, that's right. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. So y'all make sure y'all tune in and watch the shenanigans that's going on or the goings on and the bullshit that we be doing. Yeah. Rich was supposed to come down here today. He got all work late. He said he wanted to come partake in the shenanigans of what be going on. Well, that's cool. He's welcome any weekday. He wants to come on down. He's definitely welcome. I don't know. He's a, you know my boy. He's a, he's yeah, a little crazy. Know. Yeah, we know. But he one hurt, thing he, for sure, too, for sure, he know how to get that bread. So he, he can be as crazy as he want to yeah, be. Yeah, he a little, he a little crazy. <laughs> A little welder. If y'all need some welding, hit me up. My son is definitely a certified welder. He got like 18 welding certificates. So he, he can weld your ass to something if he needed them to. So y'all need a welder, let me know. See, even with the business, see, listen. We try to get you hired. We try to get your business. You know what I'm saying? We try to hook you up. We play the dating game. Try to get your little girlfriend, little boyfriend, whatever floats your boat. You know, we all round show. You know what I mean? You call us, we hook you up. Yeah, Your shit ain't right. We talk about you. Yeah, we team this players. is an all round show. I mean, we give y'all the shit that y'all need. We give y'all a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we give you a little bit of everything. Yeah, we don't do boredism. We tell y'all where the party's at. We tell y'all where the good food at. We tell you who doing the bullshit like the bitch hanging over the balcony and fell eight, six floors, <laughs> 80 feet. The chick, she doing uh, extreme yoga, yoga off the yoga. side of her building yeah. and fell 80 feet down, six floors, and she survived. Lord, Over in Mexico, though, it must be you, something in the water. If you were just seeing how she was. That she, Quavo popping it. deserved to fall. That Quavo she something mean. Like she needed you know, in Mexico, they, good, they got that good tequila with the worm in it. She must have had some of that shit. Or she even drank some of the water. She was real agile when she, she fell. She didn't game. really get too fucked up. Yeah, she she, she alive. Water. She drank that fucking water. Go on, girl. I'm rooting for you. 
I'm coming to Mexico to give me some goddamn tequila. If that shit make you want to hang over a balcony, I think that's something I need to partake in. Yeah. Give me a little half a shot. If you fail one time, that second time ain't going to work. I don't fuck with nobody saying that. second time, this shit is not going to work. Say you don't fall twice. Yeah, it's not going to work. I'm telling you that shit now. Did nobody else tell you that? Don't fucking do it again. Okay? Just don't make no sense. Oh, damn, Kev. When we leave, I'll show you the floor plan, too. I got the floor plan for the manager board. Yeah, because I know you coming, man. I know you and your family coming, Yeah, BSing. I know you and your family coming, bro. You like I know you bringing family. your wife with you, Kev. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy married, man. Of course, life is good, but he a little bougie. You know, You know, we drink the course no, no, life. No, 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 no. That nigga a lot bougie. Yeah, he, he, he not a little bougie. He, he a lot bougie. He a little bougie. That little nigga. That nigga. Just, the yingling. Lager. Y'all don't even sell them in the deli right away, so, do they? You know me, we pull out the cars, lights out the truck, you know, yeah, you little know. Budweiser, oh, yeah, yeah, little yeah, Corona yeah. ain't down again. Yeah, that's still gangster. He got go to the, he got go to beer distributor to get those. Now, the other Listen, he keep coming in with Yinglings and imported yeah, color cans. They don't have like, where? They don't have it in the If where? In Philadelphia? I know they don't. So where they go? I'm saying What's that? Gross. Gross? What's that gross? Y'all ever heard of that shit? Tell me that, that ain't some bougie bullshit. Who the fuck is gross? How much is six pack? If anybody ever heard of drink some shit called gross, please let me know. Have you ever heard of gross? He drinks a beer called twenty two dollars a six pack. But we ain't gonna have no gross there. Gross listen, beer. this is what How I got. Sell it in I got Coronas. Bottles. I got Heineken's. I got Modelo's. Well, who's drink? Who's drink that? African I got uh, Coors Lights. No, I'm saying what. And I got you know, what nationality? I, I what nationality I did, did you did. see that you started me, drinking it from? Me, me. My nationality. So you Googled it first. He said, Poppy's drinking ported beer. <laughs> he Googled it first. He said, Poppy's yeah. drinking ported beer. No, <laughs> uh, that better not be no fucking Poppy beer he talking about. <laughs> If that motherfucker step down to a poppy beer, we gonna have a problem. Okay. Now we were supposed to have uh, a shit. cigar and sip this week, wasn't we? Kev yeah, didn't bring the cigars. The I forgot the card. So this is what we gonna Same do. Same one talking about so, the spread. Oh, yeah. Next week we gonna make oh, sure yeah. we have the cigars. It's, well, Kev, we can't buy the cigars ahead of time because they go stale, right? So we gotta buy them the day of. Come on, yeah. cigar man, you gotta tell us. So Kev, you gotta go get the cigars, Kev. Yeah, he might not even know where to go get them at. Shoot, he don't even You know get the long. cigars, I'll bring the yak. <laughs> he don't know how long they stay still. That's how we going to do that. I'll bring the yak, Kev will get the cigars, because, and what else we need? Then not can bring the goddamn food. And don't bring no vanilla wraps in here talking about no cigars. bring the Spanish rice on the restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, he I gonna, got a Hector on here. He going to bring the Hector how to make how to make that. He going to bring the uh, Spanish rice. He yep. gonna bring the African Boy, jambalaya and, and, yep. and, and two uh and two uh containers of fried beans. So we gonna do a cigar and sip next week. So yeah, next week while y'all watching, I need y'all to go out That's and get y'all some thing. cigars. So go out and get y'all whatever it is y'all sip on. Up, so when we tune in, y'all can sit back and y'all can sit and y'all can talk y'all shit and y'all can hit us up and tell us what y'all doing. We like to know what our people doing. That's why I talk to y'all the whole time. I'm talking and. Cutting in between, I like to, for people to know who on here. I like people to see who tune in on a weekly basis. I like to give my folks a shout out because it's really be all my peoples. Like when I leave here and before I come, I see them all. So I appreciate the love. You know what I got a problem with? What? These motherfuckers, and I don't even want to say it, but the motherfuckers with this Popeye's chicken sandwich. Yo, I hear yo, one yo, fucking yo did you see my bag? Popeye's fucking chicken. Have you tasted it? Oh. I don't eat that shit, but Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. You motherfucker. Cousin, did you, you have more Oh, I got to show you the posts I put up. I know, but have you got the taste of though? No. Oh, okay. I ain't standing in the motherfucking line for no papa. Now, if somebody gonna go, lines. Now, if somebody gonna go by lines. and pick me so up I one. Yeah, I've seen lines, too, girl. All right, look, I put this up first. Motherfucking chicken sands doing all that. It's dope in it. Dope in the They've been watching that movie The Trap. They done dropped that good ooh yeah. wee in the grease. If it's dope, it's Did y'all see the line? I know y'all seen them lines. If it's a line for that, it's, it's yeah. a problem. Look, you see them go ahead. They already yeah. go ahead about the chicken sandwich. No, but this is the funny part. Then y'all look at this. What y'all hear is a boondock skit. 
They even but they even promoting fucking Popeye. They talking to, they they make it it's funny. It's like That's a little good. skit. Oh, I forgot that John's still on, man. No, that shit I don't think that shit come on no more. Oh yeah, I ain't think so. Several hours later. Yo, they start going. <laughs> Oh, that's that shit is funny. Y'all gotta find the skit that they, they did with the boondocks. Yeah. Well, Popeye's chicken they don't have nothing on Gory's restaurant. Fifty five fourteen Rising Sun Avenue. You want some real chicken? Come by. I'll show what you. I'm gonna do is when we go on break, I'm gonna you. send this to my engineer and I'll yeah. play it in the back so yeah. y'all can see what we talk about. Yeah. Boondocks ain't got nothing on this. We'll run this at our next commercial. Oh, no, they ain't. This ain't shit for me. It's Raleigh's. Oh, this Raleigh don't make it fun of the niggas being in the line at Popeyes. Oh, Raleigh. Oh, Raleigh. Oh, Raleigh. Oh, Raleigh. Yeah, they got a skit making fun of all the motherfuckers like how people be in the lines. Uh, yeah, people, thank y'all. Yo, that shit Go is serious. To com. Download our app. Come on, y'all, so we can see y'all picture. We would yeah, like y'all, to listen, see y'all face This is the face. funny part. Y'all come on every week, right? Y'all loyal it to the bone, right? So I be wanting my people to see who the fuck these other people is who be talking shit because y'all do talk a lot of shit. And y'all be going in right with me. That's why I like my listeners and my followers because... They go ham like I go ham, and they ain't got no fucking filter on their tongue either. Right. But if y'all go to Global Tunes and pop on that way, we can make sure we punch y'all in so the people can see y'all and see who y'all is who talking. You know what I'm saying? They scared. They scared. They scared. Y'all scared? They scared. Download the app. Do me a favor. If you scared, Download Glo- you Global Tunes app, but you can only do it if you got um, an Android phone. If you nervous, don't join the service. Give you a free Popeye's chicken sandwich. Yeah, right, right. Well, that's what the owner Don't start that of shit. Philly Hip Hop. That motherfucker's said. lined up outside the yeah. studio. We go the fuck outside. That's what the owner of Philly Hip Hop said. Not global, not the business hey, show. Fuck Popeye sandwiches. Popeye ain't putting a quarter in my motherfucking pocket. Not a damn thing, cuz. They lucky I'm talking about it now. That nigga wouldn't even have a conversation with me. Well, I ain't really talking the about them. Woman. Like you said, we talking about the business at hand, so that's the business at hand. They lining well, up for them fucking chicken sandwiches. Shit. <laughs> I wish this shit was in my hand. Come right. on, bring it Listen, to my hand. I wish I could come over the chicken sandwich right now. Line the fuck up. I'll, listen, I'll sell the bitches out the back of the store. Come on. <laughs> you get a t shirt and a chicken sandwich. He had the hamburger rolls, right? He had the chicken. He can get that shit in the flower and threw it in the microwave for like a second. He took it out, put it on the bread, and gave it to his son. He said, Here, eat. He said, That shit ain't done. <laughs> he said, I got a chicken sandwich for $2. He throwing them out the window. Listen, chicken is popping right now. Much, all you motherfuckers who ain't got no job, this is what I'm going to tell y'all. Set up a little stand outside y'all crib. Yeah, you know I mean, get y'all some nice little soft-ass rolls, some of them little F. I am a roast old buns. Get a nice little Kaiser roll. Even fry up some chicken sandwiches. Give a nigga a variety. Bake some or grill some and fry some and sell them joints out your front door. Everybody don't got motherfucker two hours to stand in Popeye's line. So if y'all niggas want to get y'all game in my line. Listen, push the motherfucking chicken sandwich. Cousin, you better put some chicken mind. sandwiches on the menu. I'm well, telling you. Okay, that's what's coming. That's what's coming. Next. Chicken sandwiches. Chicken Come to Gory's, get them chicken sandwiches. And I'm going to get the same rolls that Popeye had, okay? It's the chicken sandwiches. Uh, if they not the same roll, they'll be their cousin. Get a okay? butter. Put that uh, shit on a butter biscuit. Man, chicken gonna sandwich try it, on man. a butter fact, biscuit. In fact, yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. I'm we got chicken that. sandwich popping. Five dollars. Come get them drawings. They husky. Yes, breast, indeed. Breast sandwiches. A whole breast sandwich. Breast a whole sandwiches. breast, okay? I'm talking about a real breast chicken. Stop halal. Stop. Halal me. That's what I'm talking well, about. I ain't Muslim and ain't really got to be halal for me. I know, but, well, you know, meat is meat for you. I understand all that, but I'm just saying. What you trying to say, cousin? I'm just I saying. I don't like how you really said that. No, well, yeah, you should feel no kind of way. I don't shit. like your motherfucking attitude. All right, well. Hold on, this shit just Well, switched. I don't like your eating Got my point to hold on. So I got my chef, Chef Tony. Yeah, listen, I don't, I don't like Tony. I know you seen the chicken sandwich uh, debacle. Can you bring so me a chicken home, chicken sandwich home from work tonight? No chicken where sandwich. Where you work at? You uh, work at Popeyes? No, you know Tone. Tone work at. Uh, oh yeah, oh work yeah, work. no, yeah. We want one of Tone. Yeah, Tone. Tone, Tone, Tone yeah. I be, I be down the way Tone, like about eleven, twelve ish, and we I get a chicken sandwich. We don't want no Popeyes joint, Tone. Show me what your chicken sandwich like. 
Let me see if I can stand in line for your chicken sandwich. <laughs> listen. Oh, he going to the major party. With you. Listen. This nigga made the meanest I meatloaf. Dog, no he made the meanest le- meatloaf I ever had. And I don't even eat meatloaf. That's all right. My dude, like, he like, boo, eat this meatloaf. I'm like, I don't eat meatloaf. He like, you got to taste this shit. Tone got a mean season game. When you a chef, you got to have a mean season game. Give it up for my boy, Chef Tone. Chef Tone. Tone Freeman. He, he in the building. He working like 12 restaurants downtown. He like, you know, he like the Dominicans. He get it popping. He work hard. Kathy was popping, Kathy. Fuck, I'm Yeah, oh, yeah. We got a little green tree in it some days. Yeah, we need a little uh, chicken sandwich. I'm hungry. I'm hungry right now. Can you bring me a chicken sandwich, please? Uh, well, Tone, if you at work, we can take one of your, your, one yeah, of your chicken sandwiches. You please, know. I need chicken sandwich, please. Yeah, yeah. We hungry. We all could do for a chicken sandwich. If you got a car, can you bring the sandwiches up to us, please? <laughs> we'll meet you halfway. I'll send Kev. We'll be up forever in debt. I got yeah. money. I got money. Yeah, we we'll want you to bring them yeah. up for free. We ain't begging. We buying. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He worked downtown. I think he had work. Yeah. But if anybody watching and you got a mean chicken sandwich, can you bring me a chicken sandwich? And then ain't got to be If your Popeye. chicken sandwich better than Popeye's, and Chick Fil A's, bring me a chicken sandwich because I'm not convinced. And if it is, I'll shit. put it on my menu. I'm now, not convinced. See. And if you bring a sandwich and it's right, we gonna put it on the Gorey's restaurant no, menu. We'll see. We'll see if we if got some right. cooks out here. If it's right now, if y'all bring some bullshit, we we not we not really we we. Can't no, I'm gonna it. send you back home with the bullshit. Oh, Joe said he got me. Uh, okay, I'm chicken see. sandwich on the rise. Okay. Chicken sandwich popping. I know his chicken sandwich is better than fried. Okay. And Popeyes or whoever the fuck this shit comes Yeah, I'll here. take some mayonnaise on my Yeah, I like extra mayo. Bread. Yeah, put no mayonnaise on my bread. Right. You know that special sauce you be making? Yeah, we can make it. fish sandwich. You got to come down north and get that job. He ain't going to bring it up. No, when he get off, he be getting off like 11. Oh, he get on the way. Yeah, and he be down the way. So. Yeah, he yeah, pull up with the husky bags. I don't go to that in parts at 11, 12 o'clock. See, you say if you with me. Well, let me find out, man. Big let Willie. me find out, you man. You got Big old and soft, man. Let me find out you turned into a pillar. All I'm saying, let me find out you turned into a pillar. He's soft in the middle. Yeah, let me find out. Yeah, they got hand. soft and so he got that money. I don't know He's no soft, soft dudes. Soft. Yeah, I don't know no soft dudes. He stayed in the suburbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a suburban knight. I, mean, yeah. I go down in the daytime. Live in Glendon Heights. What they gonna do in the night that they gonna do in the daytime? Yeah. One thing about no, no, really, they get it popping any day. Anytime, anytime. Any time. Any time. They get it popping yeah. twelve in the afternoon. Well, I we know. get it popping more down your way than up that way. Shit. Yeah, you in popping neighborhood. Yeah, you out west. Don't act yeah. like now. Your pop suburbs off the west. is popping. Don't act like it you don't pop off the west. You got popping suburbs. <laughs> Tell the West Philly y'all pop off too. Mooch, what's popping, Mooch? It pops off too with West. Y'all know. You go down West Philly late night, hold your pocketbook tight. It pops off everywhere here in PA, baby. Yeah, anywhere you oh, go. Oh, same old. Just sitting here rapping, talking shit. You know, we ain't got no top of the day. We freestyling. Talking about them chicken sandwiches. Mooch, you had a chicken sandwich yet? Yeah. Have you been to Popeyes? Have you been to Chick Fil A? Have you been what, in what, that what, line? What is the chicken sandwiches hitting for? Listen, my people say he went the other day. They had a note on the door that said they had no chicken sandwiches. He about to pull off. The lady come out the store like, "Oh, you want chicken sandwich? They got them inside." They just got a note on the door so the line don't call. So I'm here to tell you, don't believe the hype. Them motherfuckers got chicken sandwiches. So if you go to a fucking Popeyes and they say they ain't got no chicken sandwiches, go inside. They bullshit and start the line up again. It's popping. Y'all want money. Don't get mad how it come. Y'all is killing them. Y'all done made a fucking $6 million off chicken sandwiches in the last week. And y'all talking about y'all ain't got no chicken sandwiches? Oh, listen. I take everything off the menu but a chicken sandwich. Uh, damn. Popeye. And give all my employees raises because they need it because they peddling the fuck out them chicken sandwiches. Uh, damn. That's all they hear in line. Come Man, motherfuckers getting in chicken sandwich give fights. Chicken sandwich. Give me a chicken sandwich. Is they allowing them like y'all to got do cocaine more than in one? the chicken sandwiches? I, I've never seen a nigga fight over a chicken sandwich. I know, cuz, is they allowing them to purchase more than one at I one time? I don't know. I'm gonna say again, I ain't been down there, but uh, shit, dude, y'all got extra, y'all got helmets, mayonnaise on that motherfucker? Mm. Is that Kobe beef chicken? Kobe chicken on that motherfucker? Like, what y'all got on that chicken sandwich? Fuck, man, that ain't no motherfucker Kobe chicken. That's uh, that's that that's chopped up frozen hoo, hoo. ass, yeah, refried microwave ass chicken yes, y'all running down there. 
The funny shit is motherfuckers make a better chicken sandwich they got themselves in the house, but they too lazy to turn that grease on and wait for it to fucking heat up. How about that? You can put that same taste on it. You can put what exactly taste that you want on there at home. Try it, it works. It. Just listen, like she said, open your window, let big, some air. Listen, I done made a Big Mac at home. That special sauce, that ain't shit but some uh, Italian dressing. Dressing, yep. That, yep. All that special sauce so, is, everybody got a bottle of that shit. The yep, house. If you yep, do yep, everybody. The corner, make you a burger, put a little lettuce, tomato, yep. a little cheese on that Same motherfucker. shit they got in the most of these some stores some you got onions. in your house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put a little of that special sauce uh Dressing. It's just called the special sauce. Yeah. Get you one of them sesame seed buns. Get two ends. Put the one in the middle. Put the two burgers on it. Bam. Big Mac. Big motherfucking Mac. Big fucking Mac. Y'all motherfuckers out here spending five dollars on this goddamn burger. And it's cheaper to make the Big Mac at home. Pack the goddamn herb burger for that ten five dollars and feed the family. Mm -hmm. Y'all better learn how to shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Feed the people around you. See man. what I mean? He said it ain't that deep for him. He said your man Tone Freeman got a better chicken. I know. I'm on the chicken sandwich. He gonna bring me one tonight. Should I not put that out there? Don't be asking for no chicken sandwich, Mooch. He can only bring three home. I got dibs on two. And I got dibs on one. I will break you off he a corner got though. Dibs on one. You, you listen. Slide me two dollars. Tone, I'll be. I break you off a little mine. corner. Of that I, chicken sandwich. I said I take mayonnaise on mine. Fried onions if you have them too. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. These a little onions. Yeah, I'll take a little from fried onions Listen, if you have. I'll get what you put on it. Put it together for me. I'm gonna let you freestyle. Just make sure some mayonnaise. Tony Freeman, do your thing. That's all we can Chef say. Tone. Yeah, cause Chef Tone, you is definitely a chef, no, I bro. Just, I would just want you to know ahead of time we gonna put you to work at the mansion. I just want. No, well, I'm pretty sure Ain't Tone to already know that. Ain't that the <laughs> setup? You let me. I'm gonna let you know a month ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna need you in the kitchen he at least one of them days. He was forewarned, cuz. Yeah. We can't get BD ass in the fucking kitchen to save his life. BB, like, I cook for a little, I ain't cooking shit. No, I need to get in there. I'm in there. <laughs> Somebody need to get that motherfucker. Anybody but me. I ain't, I ain't cooking shit. If you wait for me to cook some food, y'all gonna be some hungry motherfuckers. I don't know, but you know, we ain't never had no problem with eating. Yeah, but don't worry about like it. I bring a crew, my crew, Boogie. My crew get it down, and they before. cook everything. When I say everything, they cook everything. Yeah. And enjoy doing it, too. Listen, when I say they be in the kitchen putting it together, and enjoy doing putting it. it together, we go eat like we rich, rich. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy how you could just walk in the kitchen and see All breakfast be popping, pancakes, laughing. French toast, yeah. home fries, cheese, eggs, bacon, sausages. They got biscuits. They and got cream, trip beef. Oh, breakfast be popping. Listen, my nephew got up 6 o'clock in the morning and had a slab of ribs on the grill for breakfast. Like, it be going down in there. I'm talking about him and my son was molesting the goddamn ribs, putting that dry Treat rub yourself. on them. Treat yourself, Listen, started that goddamn grill up. You know what smelling ribs 6 o'clock in the morning will do for you? Oh, yeah, Dre Dog. We had the boy Dre Dog cooking. Oh, Dre was putting it in, too. Oh, Vet was throwing steaks under the under the tall bro. Oh, they was getting it in. Listen, Tone Girl made potato salad. The potato salad had vegetables in it. You know me. I'm sitting here like, yo, I'm not eating that shit. I don't like vegetables. Then you put vegetables in the potato salad. So I already thought, like, I ain't eating this shit. I can tell you now, Tone, but I was saying, you know, I just was what I was thinking in my mind. So my sister go in there, she take one for the team. She come back like, yo, you don't go get some of that motherfucking potato salad, that yeah, shit popping. It was different. And she I a had cooker. Some of it. Yeah. So if she say it's popping, I went right behind it. Yo, that potato salad was popping. I'd never seen nobody put, she had like peas and carrots, and, but you couldn't taste it. Mm -hmm. You couldn't taste it at all. Potato, like, you if you got a kid that don't eat vegetables, does. let her come over your career. She gonna make some shit in there. Your kid gonna be eating all types of shit and they ain't even gonna know they eating it. That shit was good, good. Let's say, anytime I see her, I be like, what's up with the potato salad? <laughs> Listen, I'm telling y'all. Well, you know I don't gas. If that shit was fucked up, I be like, yo, that shit was fucked up. Maybe yo, that we shit can was get some potato shit. salad this time. Yeah, Rose, we need you on the potato salad. I ain't gonna lie, Queen, um, Queen, Quan make a good ass potato salad too. Yeah, but you know, Quan make a good ass story. potato salad. You know, I listen. Lynn makes a good ass potato salad too. 
Look, this is some fat people shit. Look. If we go into a whole saying, chicken sandwich, potato salad, make everything cause meet no conversation. God damn it. That's crazy. Listen, don't do a show hungry. That's like when they tell you don't go to the supermarket high. Yeah. You know what the Y'all ever been to the supermarket high? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? How much dumb shit did y'all come home with? Nothing. Ain't nothing. Nothing. I know you motherfuckers. All you yeah, motherfuckers listening, y'all been to the supermarket yeah, high. Listen, if you go to the supermarket high, you will come back with some of the bullshitness ass snacks. Cause that shit only good when you high. I mean, you come back with some Frito Cheeto Lays. You be like, what the fuck? Like, oh yeah, yeah. Cause it, we was talking shit about my snacks the other week. Said yeah. my snacks. When you hide them, shit be good. They be some bullshit like right now. If he could listen, like, listen, y'all think I'm playing? Watch this. <laughs> This cause it's snack bag. He always come in with a snack That's bag. That's the snack bag. Is First for of all, everybody. oh shit, cousin, you got this snack today. I can't even talk oh, about you. He day? always got some dry ass pretzels. He keeps some dry ass pretzels. pretzels. I love pretzels. All right, he got I some good. He got some Doritos. I can fuck with these cool ranches. I'm gonna hold yeah. these dogs over here hostage. You got now, now, now he got some cheesies. Now you know you can't eat these unless you near a sink. Cause this shit gonna be all on your fucking fingers. But these joints is popping. Right, that's what napkins is for. This is my ultimate wipe kid's your snack. Hands. Like if yeah, your kid come to my house, hands. I feed them these yeah. cause they can't choke off of them, but they fuck your outfit up. Their hands. So these joints good as shit by hers, but they will fuck her outfit up. That's fuck right. your kids out. What else he got in the bag? Now nice, this is bro. some bullshit. He got some Fritos. Fritos is something you got to eat while you're best, drinking beer. That's my best chips right there. These your Fritos? Well, I'm going to slide your Fritos over there to you. Don't nobody oh, want the Fritos. Then he got... Too, buddy Ryan, you doing too <laughs> yeah, much. You, I, you, over there, you over there throwing I ratcheted them off. out your yeah, shit. You, you need to throw the whole now, he bag got some back. Cheddar, you know, cheddar Ruffles. Yeah. Cheddar Ruffles. He got taffies. That's right. He got taffies. I got stuff. That y'all didn't bring. Oh, yeah, he got now. Now, he got a pack of them dollars. Now, I do got a pack of them. Yeah, he gonna tell you all the shit we didn't want. This the business show. The only show where you can turn on and they be eating shit on the, on the middle of the camera. We be hungry. This is what I do for my friends. Y'all, my loyal followers, and y'all bring me no food. Only one I'm loving right now is Chef Tone. Cause I know he yeah, got it popping. They, they stood though, right? Got Ira in the building. What's going on, baby? All right. I went to school with Ira. I went, listen, I knew Ira since I was like in the fourth grade and shit. Damn. We go back, back. I say back. We go back, back. Back, back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a break. We definitely pause. gonna take a break. And then we'll holler right back. We gonna pause and pay the bills. Yes, it's time to pay the bill. Somebody got to do it, guys. You feel me? Not a problem. But yeah, we just don't go far. Don't y'all go far. We'll be right back. Uh, 13. A chubby skid on the scene. I used to have the, you know what? Let me hop out. Pop out, boy, at 2609 Germantown. Hey, one of the hottest clothing stores in Philadelphia. You gotta go check them out, boy. Damn, boy, little Ninja Perro. Yeah, he the business. Damn, that bike is giving on the business with all them speakers on it, boy. I could be loud as hell in the morning waking everybody up if I wanted to. Man, what? Oh, my goodness. What? Gima, what's your little orthopedic shoe wearing behind the door here, huh? I'm for the business, and I bought briefcases what? for everybody. Oh, yeah, it's a clothing line. I ain't say bring briefcases. What? I'm saying about that business. Well, you, you want some weird stuff, Gima? Weird? Yeah, you wish your hand didn't cramp up, huh? You better do it yourself, huh? <laughs> but anyway, boy, I'm just letting y'all know, boy, the business show Wednesday, 8 p.m., Global Tunes Radio, sponsored by Little Ninja Apparel. What you thought, it was just apparel? No, she doing big things. You need to get at this lady. You go in there and check out. She going to take care of you. She got hats, shirts, everything, whatever. I don't care what it is. You, you know, she don't got it, she will make it for you. Come out, boy. I was 13, a chubby skid on the scene. I used to have the, you know what? Let me hop out. Pop out, boy. At 2609 Germantown, hey, one of the hottest clothing stores in Philadelphia. You gotta go check them out, boy. Damn, boy. Little Ninja Perro. Yeah, he came to business. Damn, that bike is giving on the business with all them speakers on it, boy. I could be loud as hell in the morning waking everybody up if I wanted to. Man, what? 
Oh my goodness, what? Jima, what's your little orthopedic shoe wearing behind the door here, huh? I'm business, and I bought briefcases for everybody. Oh, yeah, there's a clothing line. I didn't say bring briefcases. What? I'm saying about that business. Well, you, you want some weird stuff, Jima? Weird? Yeah, you wish your hand didn't cramp up, huh? You better do it yourself, huh? <laughs> but anyway, boy, I'm just letting y'all know, boy, the business show Wednesday, 8 p.m., Global Tunes Radio, sponsored by Little Ninja Apparel. What you thought, it was just apparel? No, she doing big things. You need to get at this lady. You go in there and check out. She gonna take care of you. She got hats, shirts, everything, whatever. I don't care what it is. You, you, you if you don't got it, she will make it for you. Come out, boy. I was 13, a chubby skid on the scene. I used to have the, you know what? Let me hop out. Pop out, boy. At 2609 Germantown, eh, one of the hottest clothing stores in Philadelphia. You gotta go check them out, boy. Damn, boy. Little Ninja Perro. Yeah, he the business. Damn, that bike is giving on the business with all them speakers on it, boy. I could be loud as hell in the morning waking everybody up if I wanted to. Dang, what? Oh, my goodness. What? Jima, what's your little orthopedic shoe wearing behind the door in here, huh? business, and I bought briefcases what? for everybody. Oh, yeah, there's a clothing line. I didn't say bring briefcases. What? I'm saying about that business. Well, you, you want some weird stuff, Jima? Weird? Yeah, you wish your hand didn't cramp up, huh? You better do it yourself, huh? <laughs> but anyway, boy, I'm just letting y'all know, boy, the business show Wednesday, 8 p.m., Global Tunes Radio, sponsored by Little Ninja Apparel. What you thought, it was just apparel? No, she doing big things. You need to get at this lady. You go in there and check out. She going to take care of you. She got hats, shirts, everything, whatever. I don't care what it is. You, you know, if you don't got it, she will make it for you. Come out, boy. I was 13, a chubby skid on the scene. I used to have the, you know what? Let me hop out. Pop out, boy. At 2609 Germantown, eh, one of the hottest clothing stores in Philadelphia. You gotta go check them out, boy. Damn, boy. Little Ninja Perro. Yeah, he came to business. Damn, that bike is giving on the business with all them speakers on it, boy. I'd be loud as hell in the morning waking everybody up if I wanted to. Dang, what? Oh, my goodness. What? Jima, what's your little orthopedic shoe wearing behind the door here, huh? business, and I bought briefcases for everybody. Oh, yeah, there's a clothing line. I didn't say bring briefcases. What? I'm saying about that business. Well, you, you want some weird stuff, Jima? Weird? Yeah, you wish your hand didn't cramp up, huh? You better do it yourself, huh? <laughs> but anyway, boy, I'm just letting y'all know, boy, the business show Wednesday, 8 p.m., Global Tunes Radio, sponsored by Little Ninja Apparel. What you thought, it was just apparel? No, she doing big things. You need to get at this lady. You go in there and check out. She gonna take care of you. She got hats, shirts, everything, whatever. I don't care what it is. You, you, you if you don't got it, she will make it for you. Come out, boy. I was 13, a chubby skid on the scene. I used to have the, you know what? Let me hop out. Pop out, boy. At 2609 Germantown, eh, one of the hottest clothing stores in Philadelphia. You gotta go check them out, boy. Damn, boy. Little Ninja Perro. Yeah, he came to business. Damn, that bike is giving on the business with all them speakers on it, boy. I could be loud as hell in the morning waking everybody up if I wanted to. Dang, what? Oh, my goodness. What? Jima, what's your little orthopedic shoe wearing behind the door in here, huh? business, and I bought briefcases what? for everybody. Oh, yeah, there's a clothing line. I didn't say bring briefcases. What? I'm saying about that business. Well, you, you want some weird stuff, Jima? Weird? Yeah, you wish your hand didn't cramp up, huh? You better do it yourself, huh? <laughs> but anyway, boy, I'm just letting y'all know, boy, the business show Wednesday, 8 p.m., Global Tunes Radio, sponsored by Little Ninja Apparel. What you thought, it was just apparel? No, she doing big things. You need to get at this lady. You go in there and check out. She going to take care of you. She got hats, shirts, everything, whatever. I don't care what it is. You, you know, if you don't got it, she will make it for you. Come out, boy. I was 13, a chubby skid on the scene. I used to have the, you know what? Let me hop out. Pop out, boy. At 2609 Germantown, eh, one of the hottest clothing stores in Philadelphia. You gotta go check them out, boy. Damn, boy. Little Ninja Perro. Yeah, he came to business. Damn, that bike is giving on the business with all them speakers on it, boy. I'd be loud as hell in the morning waking everybody up if I wanted to. Dang, what? Oh, my goodness. What? Jima, what's your little orthopedic shoe wearing behind the door here, huh? business, and I bought briefcases for everybody. Oh, yeah, there's a clothing line. I didn't say bring briefcases. What? I'm saying about that business. Well, you, you want some weird stuff, Jima? Weird? Yeah, you wish your hand didn't cramp up, huh? You better do it yourself, huh? <laughs> but anyway, boy, I'm just letting y'all know, boy, the business show Wednesday, 8 p.m., Global Tunes Radio, sponsored by Little Ninja Apparel. What you thought, it was just apparel? No, she doing big things. You need to get at this lady. You go in there and check out. She gonna take care of you. She got hats, shirts, everything, whatever. I don't care what it is. You, you, you if you don't got it, she will make it for you. Come out, boy. Good people, good people, we back. This hit cousin for right now, Sean. So. With your old Deanna and the shake. Cousin ID. Cousin ID. With us. We got Kev in the building. Well, country was hiding food on it. He popped it out and we got to it. 
even bought out some lamb and some turkey wings and mac and cheese, some cabbage, mm-hmm. little yellow rice. That, that, that um, Spanish rice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he fuck with a pot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I pour reading over his food. He hiding, he don't want us to know. Mm-hmm. This is a surprise. It's a who? <laughs> it's a surprise. It's a surprise. <laughs> uh, what's going on? You want to mention what's going on? Huh? Uh-huh. I'm trying mm-hmm. to see the way my welfare check is set up. You can get paid that way. That's, a, that's one of the first out of the 15th week. <laughs> that's a pay week, brother. All right, check. And you know that bad motherfucker know when you get paid. They be like, you know what, you know, you get paid that we say. Can't bullshit. When well, y'all know, October what? Swim with five and twin. When is it October what? 17. October 17. You ain't got no job. Come on. <laughs> yeah, like Tommy. He worked at the blue building next to the land building. Hmm? A week, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we got a room for y'all. Yo, and the reason four by it's like they got a whole four by four trail out there in the sand. You don't have to no four by four. You can get one. They got an option. You got drive like right. Oh you gotta get oh you gotta buy a drive for four by four to get it. No, you can work one. You drive fuck down there, ain't it? The only motherfucker who got that money to buy a truck so he can go on the trip and that nigga over there. Uh oh. What? Oh, you heard it. You know, I heard something about that nigga over there. I'm talking about, okay, we need four by four. I need you to go buy a truck. I need 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 to buy a truck. I need to go buy a truck. I need to worry about that. See? You're a bad motherfucker to just go buy a truck and let him fuck you up. She's talking about you. No, she's not talking about me. I'm talking about you. I want you. I want money. <laughs> I'm a rent material, nigga. Yeah. Well, can you rent me something? Probably the same truck I got. If I don't want this all, you know what I'm saying? When I come back, I'm going to need new tires. You know, I got them bumpy, them mud tires. Yeah. That's like having dirt bike tires on the street. Right. So I'm going to need some, you know, I feel sorry for a sister like me. Any of y'all got to hook up on ties? Any of y'all cousins with the pet boys, Michigan? In the room, I'm doing nothing back door. Any of y'all got a set of ties that fell off the back of the truck? <laughs> I got a wrangler. I need the Rubicon tires. Hook me up, please. Sister, greatly appreciate it. <laughs> she walked up on me the other day like, you need to buy these tires. My sister had a Rubicon, she ain't got it no more. But she like, I sit there and that wrangler. I'm like, which one she got? She like, she don't know. Uh-huh. So she showed me the tires, and I'm looking like, I don't think these don't gonna fit. But she really looking at me like, bitch, you don't want to buy these tires. No, bitch, I do. <laughs> That's what you understand. <laughs> them Jones is good, I definitely want them. Right. She showed me the size. She like, this the size, I don't know my truck, I'm like, they don't fit. I said, but if you got a soft top in that motherfucker, let me know. Right. Because I want a soft top bag. Me, on, uh, like smack him, you know, on, uh, and you got anything but a toothpick in that bag. Right. Pull one of them out, you be all right. Beans, beans would have been shit. Got a little one dessert one those, and shit. Now I need one of those soft uh, apple mallies. Right. Well, I ain't no more snack, snack, snack. He said, put this in the trash bag. That's the trash bag. He said, we just stacked out. one of them apple mallies now. Don't even worry about it. I got you, kid. I got some, I got some Nolly just tucked in the bag. <laughs> Damn, how the kids eat these joints? Right. You can't even get about the pack. Hey, how the fuck you eat these, cousin? Yeah, you're supposed to, you're supposed to be a candy eater, but not how to open it, yeah. Just yeah. can't just be snatching shit. You don't even know how to maneuver. It's real easy to open. Damn. Get it from you the bottom now. After you to open the top. You need a college degree to open this bottle. motherfucker, Tabby. God damn it. That shit come with instructions. All right. It's all right. It's on here. Read that shit. 
that's the only for a reason, ain't it? I, I think you had more food than we did because you still eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was supposed to be for the for the, for the, uh, the audience and stuff, not for you. You the owner. You weren't supposed to eat. We supposed to eat. You came down. Yeah, we down for you got here. Just like we, just like we ain't put on a fucking t-shirt. Just like we ain't sitting there smoking a fucking cigar. And he show y'all the food. Y'all yeah, don't want to hear that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and sure ain't that long. I apologize. I got y'all next week. Ain't even gonna get one more. real deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to see the real deal. He done brought up his table. Now he is. This is a Wednesday Who special. Who said we doing a show on a block party? Why is that my wife? 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 These ain't shit now. You got the apple now. I have everything in that mouth. No, I gotta get my mouth. I'm a book bag. We just heard now it is. You took my drawing the food in your book bag? No, I ain't been in my book bag. I bought them out of day. I bought two back of them. And then well, I got one pack left in mine. No. So, no, you're not ready to go in here, ain't that? So, no, they're not. That's all I know. That you shouldn't have a pack. Well, I'm gonna just say they was, they was in a bag over here. I don't know what happened in the transition around the table. <laughs> Start to spill. It happened. It wouldn't be like that to die. They really ain't stealing if you can watch somebody do it. How you call that still? They ain't stealing. 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 They I was on my way here already. When you called me, I was already rolling. So I should be saying that shit while you sitting there eating up all my money. You want to act like this about a now? <laughs> huh? You fucking right. You want to act like this about a now? You ain't going to. You ain't just going to be. Oh shit, man. Yeah, I don't even want to say you don't care. Huh? You ain't going to tell me we're back with the oh, people. Oh, we've been back with people. We're back. Uh, we've been back. He's back. He back. <laughs> no, what was I going to tell you? Shit. We're back. How many times are we supposed to tell you? Now, how are y'all? He done fucked up the food. Now, he won't act like he wasn't over here doing nothing. He ain't even show y'all turkey wings. No. He swallowed that shit whole. That's how about. I got y'all next week. I'm going to make sure that y'all get the smell right on through the radio station. You have to go. GlobalTunesRadio.com. That's the only way you're going to be able to smell it. It's a scratch and see. Station. Okay. Scratch the logo on the top and say Global Tunes. It's going to smell like chicken sandwiches. <laughs> that's what it's going to do. That's it. Yeah. That's the how first good. First interactive. That's, scratch and sniff. That's how good our engineer is. Right. Okay. Scratch his logo. It's going to smell like chicken sandwiches. That's right. And it ain't gonna be Popeyes, it's Gorey's. Gorey's restaurant, 5514. It smell like shit. Yeah, well, it took. Well, I'm gonna be like, as long as it took you, poverty said it in. Poverty took over. Poverty, poverty took over it, yeah. Poverty took it over, my fault. It took too long, that's what happened. Man. Yeah, he put it on them dog tight over there. Y'all mm -hmm. better be glad I ain't putting them in my pocket. Shit. Y'all too dangerous. No, they right there. We have the whole discrepancy. Damn, God. Yeah. I knew you should have bought six pack of them, dog. Mm. Hmm. Give me 50 cents, bro. They managed to be smacking it. I mean, for everything that you ate, just give me 50 cents. <laughs> Make me feel like somebody. Hang <laughs> on. Yeah, give me 50 cents. You said when you went up to the, um. Huh? Yeah. I get you. I can you get you chain. Up to the show. Sure. Yeah, one of the, you stayed in the W. The w. You was out in New York at the show, right? Yeah, I stayed up on the west side. Yeah, he stayed. Highway. <laughs> he stepped in the car. He stayed at the W. And you went on the highway to stay in the car. You was trying he to make sure you were safe. He you in the car. on the on the highway. You ain't pull over on the side street or none of that. No, I ain't stepped there. He said that I'm only going back what he's saying. So did you stay a night? Like you ain't really answered the question. Okay. So you went and then days in. 
That wasn't you on TMZ. Yeah, that wasn't you on TMZ. And days in. And days in. Oh my goodness. You know he from Philly. That nigga went looking for a park. He thought he was at Vernon Park. He felt safe. He thought. You, you was on there. That's how I we know. You out there acting like you Fonzie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's out there talking about, hey. Yeah. <laughs> but that wasn't you? It wasn't you on TMZ? Did it look like me? Yeah. That's why we having this conversation with you, bro. Ask yourself. He looked a little Hawaiian. I, Hawaii I, I know. I wasn't like with you. Hawaii had that on backwards. Yeah, how would I know? All, <laughs> I of them got, that was you. all of them got their head on backwards. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, he looked a little Hawaiian. I swore that. I said, God well, damn it. What part of New York is that? I don't know, they be all parts of shit. That's you was in Manhattan, Manhattan. And, and yeah, you was in was Manhattan in, was, and Brooklyn. I was in Harlem in the Bronx. That's where they was at too. I was in the hood. That's where they was, was at too. Is that where they from Cheetahs at? I was on Sugar Hill though. Oh no. You said Cheetahs. Cheetahs. Oh my goodness. Damn. I'm just shouting on all the bullshit shows out. You get caught on Cheetahs, bro. Yo, I hated Cheetahs. Cheetahs was a gimmick. That shit was funny. Cheetahs fucked my life up. Is it just me or you cheating, right? Why you gonna go to a restaurant with ninety two windows? <laughs> Get the seat and sit in the window. Right in front of the yeah, window. Sit in the clearest window. And then yeah, act like, like you, you don't sound see. Like we speaking from. Uh, we speaking from the same shit you speaking from. The same that channel that we talking about. You was watching. You sound like she been there, done that. Oh, I used to watch that shit and it used to no. piss me off. Cause first of all, if you sitting, you got a window seat. You should have saw the 12 fucking vans just pulled up out front <laughs> with 92 people in them. Bright the fuck shit. out with cameras. Bright ass cameras. If there was camera. ever a chance to run for the bathroom, that would be it. How the fuck they keep coming in there? You don't see them. They run up on you all fighting fucking suit. That's, that shit was get rigged. Ain't, well, that, listen, ain't that many dummies I in know there. it was rigged. It might be rigged, but it looked like it was rigged and fucked up some people's life. That's how rigged it looked. I know. I I was just amazed that nobody out of all that ever punched dude in this fucking. Nah, they, um, he stabbed him. He should have. He should really should have, guy. Yeah, they stabbed him. He was hanging out with them people like he knew them motherfuckers for years. The boy stabbed him on the boat. Yeah, he should have. They should have got him in his I neck. Mean, he was going there like the second season. Yeah. They had another dude on there. They should have like, got. Oh, that's why the other dude came. Yeah, I'm not coming oh, back. Oh yeah, they should have like, hit yeah, him in his remember? neck. Yeah, they stabbed the shit out of yeah. the pool. Uh, Are you keep rattling us? This is who? Oh yeah, Rondo used to get his ass whipped up. I rather need to be said. Somebody should have whipped Jerry Springer ass. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Jerry got his ass whipped, and we just ain't hear about it one time. Listen, I don't listen. One thing about me, I ain't gonna lie to you. I like shenanigans, but some shit I just can't get with. I hated her all though. I hated Maury. I hated yeah, Jerry. I ain't like motherfuckers. I ain't like Cause y'all motherfuckers gonna sign up to go the fuck on here. And show and tell all y'all business. Right. Y'all look like the dumbest of the dumb. This bitch got one baby. She done tested 12 niggas. None of them the niggas fucking fathers. On one episode, bitch, how many niggas did you sleep with? On the next one, none of them niggas today. Yeah, you start thinking they getting the paid to go on that motherfucking no, shit. Like she ain't oh, they done? Niggas, like, oh, so all exactly. the people that come on in? Oh, they get paid. Everybody yeah. didn't yeah. get yeah. paid? How much? You know around how much? I don't know how much. You know I know they was getting paid? They got a Because watch the episode with Reno. Now, Reno from now 26th Street. Remember yeah. the girl Reno used to yeah. always be on there? Yeah. It's an episode with her with fucking DL, uh, D Ray, the comedian D Ray, and the boy Tori Hoka. They both. They both want to join. So that's how you know it's fake. Yeah. And then afterwards, they said that they ain't got a check to act like they was messing with the girl on. Yeah, they got to get cash and checks. Yeah, they paid uh, people to come oh, down there. Oh, 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 I ain't never know them Listen, people when they got paid, them Listen, I motherfuckers thought they was just coming on there. As they went along. And all they got they was a limo. Hold on, all they, they, they get is a limo. They got a limo. The limo come pick them up, take them up there to the show, give them a little hotel room and some motherfucking 
spending money. $120. Put like your ass on. Oh, okay. Day, yeah, For them to spend in New York. Now you look like somebody. But now you're on TV looking like a whole now asshole. Like a whole I'm talking about yeah. a whole asshole, girl. Now you got to come the fuck home. And now, now you got a reality kick in there. Everybody talk about, oh my God. I was God. just playing, no, bitch, you fucked the whole hood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because you had to be being that girl like nice you keep testing all them dudes. Because ain't enough days in a week. Like, here go the twist. It's only 30 days in a month. Bitch, you done already tested 30 niggas. So if you fuck a nigga every day, you'd be out of time. Like, the time lapse between when that baby was born to when you had it wouldn't even add up. So why the hell you keep t- testing all these people? Right. You'd have been to Jerry six so times. You'd have tested forty-two in people. This episode, Serena. So do you no, think? Other do you think every time that they got to come back for an episode that they make more money? Yeah. No, they probably get the same they check. Get, they get more money, the same, uh, same but they just go out there again. I'm gonna tell you, they used to kill me. We get, we get, we gonna throw in the condom on breakfast this time. <laughs> <laughs> some of them stale ass muffins and some of that strong ass coffee. Stupid cat. Yeah, no, we kill me cat. That's when what they the run fucking condom is doing. When they be like, you are not the father. Why the bitch always run to the back and fall yeah, on the couch? Yeah, run off. Run, 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 off. Run, 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 off. Run, she never fall on the couch. She fall beside the couch. She, somebody that had a joint up. Who they didn't say how they shit be on Maury. They run all offset. Down the block, around the corner. Oh, shut your dumb ass up. Listen, listen, and let me tell you something. That nigga Steve, them bodyguards. Steve oh, they was getting more filled than the law allowed. Mm-hmm. Them bitches in there fighting, titties, slinging, shirts coming off. I'm like, look at Steve. And they ain't doing nothing but copping fields. Copping fields. Well, and he copping filled himself and got the in the show. The worst about the Jerry show was is that nigga want to give you word to wisdoms before he go off. Listen, you son of a bitch, you done just started a whole fight. So everybody business, but all these motherfuckers are up in one stage. He be like, oh yeah, Tachina, you cheat with Jimmy? Yeah, well, we have Jimmy's wife. You be like, how do y'all fight all these fucking well, people? Well, Marcus is here now. <laughs> <laughs> Get him every time. Well, you know, then, did you know your brother was sleeping with your wife? Right, then at the end of the show, it's like, well, you know. Family is blood is thicker than blood, and you know at the end of the day y'all gotta stick together. Women come and go. But like I best the fuck they do. This bitch is slept with everybody in my motherfucking family. Thanks well, to you, I know shit, about no, it. That shit was real. The motherfucking bodyguards we got their ass with and everything. Jerry, fucking Will. What is no, I'm gonna tell you how team? funny and fake this shit was. At one point, Jerry's just a sheer boxing match. Remember they had the bells? They would come out. They should be like, ding, ding. Somebody just get hit. What? God damn. Y'all they were just paying people to come on here and fight at the wall. No like, yeah, the fights was killing the ratings. <laughs> Yo, so that shit was like a, a amateur fight boxing match. Remember they had the, the yeah. things and everything. You hear that shit and be like, well, she slept with your brother. You slept with my brother. Ding. Like they would they would let you know when to throw the first punch. Mm-hmm. Like you wasn't mad enough to throw the punch on your own. You had to wait for the bell. Yeah. They tell you when you come on, we got a you bell. Know, wait for the bell. When the well, bell so rings, you from? You. Ding. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like the bitch and I'm even talking about even when they were sisters and brothers, they are hitting each other's like, mom, what the mom. fuck? Yeah, they was like, mom. like you be like, what the fuck? Like that's your brother? You they really was coming your out sister? stripping and taking their weaves. Or I mean, that's listen, it. the bitch got in a fight and her motherfucking wig slid off, and this bitch was bald headed ass, porch monkey. I never seen. Where are they now? Well, I ain't gonna hold you up, man. <laughs> I know my fucking Jerry. I know his pockets did the pussy. I don't know oh, what the fuck yeah, he was yeah. doing. Oh yeah, for so long, like he had took over spot. Sure, what? He was the number one what? talk show yeah, out there. Yeah, he's still on though, right? Cause it was like a hockey bet. You know, you go to a hockey game. You know, a fight. It really be a fight, but then a hockey game break out. Cause you don't know, so you go to a hockey game and a fight break out. But they would fight so much, it was like going to a fight and then a hockey game break out. Well, that's how Jerry was. It was like going to a fight and then the talk show ensued in the middle of it. Like, but yep. it was all about fighting. Yep, yep. That's what it turned out to be. Listen, let me tell you something. That's uh. how you know that shit wasn't real. Because you couldn't bring two brothers, two cousins, or two next door motherfucking neighbors and sit them side by side in any particular room. And so, tell it wasn't, nigga, so it wasn't real. He's sleeping first with your all, wife. First of all, you're not going to call me and tell me. Yeah, we're going to come to this show for this chick pregnant. And she First thing you ask, who else on the show? Get the fuck out of my line of this bullshit. First thing you ask is, who else on the show? 
So did they start telling you, you gonna walk right over their house and just punch them in the face. Cause I know you did something or you gotta tell me something. So I'm gonna punch you in your face now. So we ain't even gotta go on this fucking show. That's crazy. You not. You gonna take me when I say TV not, show. you are not gonna have me on Jerry's show trying to soften the blow. Cause they were doing that too. You trying to soften the blow. Cause you knew if you told me the fuck at home you slept with my husband, I'd shoot the fuck out you. <laughs> so you figured you could bring me on the show and tell me some shit like that cause you figured they'd save your ass. Shit, yeah, but that shit even make you even madder. Like what the like, fuck? Me well, no, you know they got a guy killed, right? Yeah, they brought that, died. They yeah. brought a guy on there and was like, yeah, you know, you know how they need to bring out the spots, surprise guests of the people who like you. Like, oh, we got somebody who like you. And they brought out a faggot boy. Yeah, and it was his neighbor. And when he went back home, he killed boy because he was embarrassed. Like, they never said you was gay, nigga. They just said he came out, he liked you. When he came out, you should have like, nigga, beat it. Oh, so it wasn't like they did something together. <coughs> And no, not at all. It was just one of them, you know, if surprise guests, somebody who like you, they bring them on, and it's the neighbor. Oh, uh, yeah, he was already mad at him anyway. He probably was already coming on to him anyway. He was tired of his shit anyway. He went home. He probably he already told him. I wasn't down with that shit. I told you, nigga. I could come. You keep you pressing it. all the way here, then? For oh, fuck. You know what I'm noticing? You won't call me for another show. You got a little jaw right here on your nose, right? You had a nose ring? Never. Never? Never. I was about to say, nigga, you was on your two pack? Don't it look like Kev had an old ring? Mm-hmm. Kev was a gigolo way back in the 90s. Almost 30 years. <laughs> Kev was a stripper. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I ain't never he seen danced down at that new joint down on Broad and Susquehanna. See, I told y'all asses. y'all been talking because y'all telling me some shit I didn't even know his about name, my homie. I thought I knew this dude. He, huh? had a, he had an earring in his nose and his name was White Chocolate. That, he was a dancer? Yeah, he was a dancer. He came out, he had a red, white, and blue song on. <laughs> oh, Shy, you laughing like you heard that shit before. <laughs> Shy, your man you was heard a about white chocolate before, girl. White chocolate. <laughs> oh, yo, funny. He did like Shanae Nae, though. Oh, cuz I rather, I rather, if I ain't know all these years, I rather had not known, cuz. I'm dead serious. I ain't never known you just fuck you with white yeah. chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. You was the one there on TMZ yeah. there. He was the one. He was that one on TMZ. We Listen, said. white chalk, I'm telling you, he came out here on a red, white, and blue thong. He had on a white t shirt with a teddy bear on it. What? Then he ripped out of when he got on stage. Dude, she describing you. <laughs> Please defend yourself, bro. Please. Right now, right now, defend yourself. Please. And the white shirt with the teddy bear on it. I think it was a polo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know it was a big teddy bear. Yeah, he ripped out the polo bear. Oh, my goodness. White bro. chocolate, baby. I know y'all seen him. Y'all seen Kev down at anywhere. Any other job. The upper deck back in the day. Oh, when they had the mail review. We used to go through. Yo, yo, why is you taking my camera? Oh, I was trying to show who the, the fuck, fuck he was. Where the fuck is he going <laughs> with my camera? I was trying to show who the fuck he was, cuz. There he go, right there. I got it. Now, Use the other camera. Huh? Use the other I did. I turned it around to him. But he done fucked my camera up. That's my fault, cuz. He talk about me. He always fucking something up. I know. Well, that's the first time. Yeah, that's like chocolate over there. Y'all go on and let me know where y'all seen him at. I swear, listen, I went to a club one night. It was dark in here, so I wasn't really sure hey, if it was Kev shot. or not. That's a but bad I ass really name. Red, white and blue thong. And I remember some little midget bitches dancing around him. So I think that was him. I think it was him. They was having a jello fight and shit. They had one of the blow up swimming pools and shit. They had the good jello too. They had the they had the good jello. They had the jello. You know how your mom used to make the jello back in the day? Please defend yourself, bro. Say something. Please. What's the kid of the fruit shit? What's the shit? The fruit cocktail? Tell me she trying to. Remember they put the fruit cocktail in the jello? Yeah, he had a good jello match. He had the fruit cocktail in the jello. And two midgets. Yeah, I'm fucking fine. He had on the I Love Las Vegas belt. <laughs> <laughs> Please defend yourself after that one, bro. That was him. All right. I swear I'm going to get you three days, oh, You're going to get three days after this one, bro. I want to tell too much because he got to go on. Please too. defend yourself, bro. Please, bro. His wife might be Please, listening to the podcast. Bro. He going to get now. He going to be like, oh, white chocolate, huh? White chocolate. Please. 
Where the fuck is that thong at in that out Las Vegas belt? Nah, he go fuck around and get cut. She be like, keep your Timberlands on, baby. He keep your Timberlands on. Money and no. no, fuck that. She gonna want to know where her show is. She gonna feel like she been fucking shunned. She gonna be like, fuck that. You, she, you better shake your ass in here tonight. Every little motherfucking step you take better be in a, be in a thong <laughs> and some Timberlands. <laughs> no socks. Thug life. You fuck around and find you motherfucker. Huh? Was you tipping? Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we tips. We tips. <laughs> we tips, <laughs> goddamn. Oh, shuck it, duck. Shuck it, duck it. Quack, quack. Kev is the stripper. I told you this He's motherfucker, Miss Smith, is closed, bro. Tell him, don't threaten me with a good time. He can get on the table right now. Ooh, okay. Shit. Yeah, hey, boss. Talk that ball stuff, man. He got the Timberlands on, but I take them Nikes, whatever he got on over there. Ooh, Put them Nikes over there, goddammit. I'm going to turn the camera on for y'all. And they talk about throwing money. And they talk about throwing money. Let me tell you how thorough I am, right? Damn. I'm going to turn the camera shit. around, right? Put him on camera. So that way, when y'all make it rain, right? With all them dollar bills, when he finish, y'all can pick him the fuck up because y'all home. <laughs> That's the best strip joint to ever go to. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can make it rain like a motherfucker. Pull out a whole fucking uh, wax for $30,000 to be in that uh, Y'all ain't even got to tell me how much it was. I'm balling. Oh, when the camera go off, y'all gonna pick all that shit up. He ain't even here. Oh, my. See, he gonna collect my motherfucking dollars. But y'all, y'all can get y'all shit back. See, I am, listen, I am taking the brunt of the bullshit for y'all. Y'all ain't never been to a strip club where you can get your money back. Go to the strip club and throw some dollars and see if you you accidentally throw a twenty up there. He'd be like, "Excuse me, I threw the wrong bill." See if they'll chop your motherfucking hand off for twenty. You change. They'd be like, "Well, how much did you mean to throw up here? <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, I got five back for you." Yeah, I get that nigga two dollars back. Now like, you'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna pay for this one? Yeah, you know. They'll I get said I would give them two dollars back. They don't, they don't get no change out the strip club. So I'm doing y'all a favor. I'm going to say again. You're going to get Kev to get up here on this yeah, table. He's going to have to leave his hat on. Pull out that belt and the thong and his sneakers. There's going to be some thug life shit. We gonna play some I want to see meals. this shit. We're going to play some meat meals in the background. I want to see this shit. Well, you got somebody offering to throw you some money, bro? Bro, I, I want to see how fucking crazy you is. Hey, I want to see what motherfucking lines you going to cross. <laughs> yes, I do want to see it. Like I said, I want to see it. I need to know what motherfucking friend, what lines my friends going to crawl. You, hey, you get up in on this know. fucking table with them fucking boots on. You already know. Here come the phones. <laughs> Did y'all see that shit? Did y'all not just see him just snatch my whole camera and shit? <laughs> What we on like a um twenty second delay? I don't know. We on like a 30, 40 minute delay. This shit is late, late. <laughs> I done went to the bathroom and came back. He just pulled the camera. <laughs> oh, he just did it. And look, watch, watch where we at, and then watch what we say. This shit gonna come on twenty minutes from now. Oh, we like in the Chinese flip. Right. <laughs> we on color people. <laughs> You'll get that in an hour. <laughs> okay. This don't make no fucking sense. You'll get that you know, one, one hour. And get high the whole time we be here. Mm -hmm. There's a crackhead to sell. Oh shit. Huh? A crackhead to sell you a motherfucking battery and a paper clip. A what? A battery and a paper clip. I don't know what the fuck you gonna do with it, but that's exactly what they sell you. He want us to tell us what a fucking pipe we're going to do. Oh, because crackhead, you done bought some shit from a crackhead. What's the difference between a crackhead and a piper? I done bought a What's whole motherfucking radio break system. Break it down to, uh, break it down to the people. I done bought a whole radio well, system you off a crackhead. You brought the fuck up. I thought you talked to him Listen, already. Let me tell you, the crackhead said my, down my way was so good. Motherfucker sold me a car phone. I ain't even had a motherfucking car. I just carried the phone to fucking fuck my motherfucking car. Like. Uh, 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 so you shit you don't uh, even hey. Back in the day, that's what crackheads was crackheads, and they sold some good shit. Yes, they did. Ben told me a car phone, and I didn't have a car, and my dumb ass bought it. Because it was $20. Like you was doing something. Yeah, I got a car phone. Well, what you do with the car phone, cuz? Did you ever okay, use it? my bike. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It nigga, the first AT&T on the motorcycle. 
Uh, shit. Yeah, the first A and T. A T and T automotive cycle. I know a crackhead. The one around store. Everybody pajamas off the line. Hey, bitch, what you gonna do with sixty-two pair of pajamas? What they do with them? Bitch, you a crackhead? You stay up all night. You don't even sleep. What the fuck? You need pajamas for? <laughs> <laughs> like, so. Just selling some bullshit, just aggravating the fuck out of people. Right. Just go in my, go in my yard and cut down my motherfucking line. And who the fuck you gonna sell a jump rope to? Like, jump rope costs a dollar brand new to the store. Who the fuck you gonna sell a huge jump rope to? God. You Damn. cut all the fucking lines out of my motherfucking yard. Because you got, you got motherfucking pipers, guys. He probably sold them about four. I mean, back in the day, you know, Nick, listen. Yeah, he probably sold four of them for a dollar. Man, my first Gucci bag I bought from a smoker. <laughs> That shit was authentic too. You know, back then it wasn't nothing that bootleg Gucci shit. You got a Gucci bag, it was a bag. Oh no, they had that bootleg shit. What you call that? Was Dever, Dever Dan. Oh no, but Dever Dan was big about it. Dan Dan. He used to take the name brand clothes and put shit on there. Niggas in pocketbooks too. Niggas was getting away with that shit too. But he, no, he worked for Gucci now. Now he yeah, yeah. yeah. So and he bought out all, all his old Gucci shit. Yeah. All them Dever Dan jackets and all that shit. Yeah, Cause they should have been hired him. They was dumb as shit. He was making more money at one point probably than they were. Yeah, they were. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But Gucci smart. Cause you already know black people were wearing Gucci anyway, so they wouldn't grab me. Oh yeah, they still don't wear Louis up there, girl. Oh yeah, they wear all that shit. Yeah, they wear all that shit up there. No, what he would do is he would go to down New York and get the. Uh, well, well, he's in New York. He would go down the garment district. But where was that? That was in New York. Yeah. yeah. He would just go buy the fabric. He would get the uh, yeah, fabric sure. made sure. over yeah. at um, what it's called, the garment. Cam, yeah, you talk your ass off, but you wanted one of them motherfuckers. No, I said. No, I wouldn't have got to speak. I didn't want one of them sweatshirts. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm talking about, I girl. Like everybody wanted one of them fat boy Gucci jackets with the G's all on them. You wasn't shit if you ain't had one of them and you couldn't afford them. No, that's right. Like, you had to be selling drug drugs to get the Gucci jacket with the G's on. Yeah. And you wearing it and the niggas you next to you wearing it. Yeah. You ain't sharing shit. So I my told you. over here out of shit, you got a refrigerator back there. You know what? I got a hot ass soda over here. I got a hot ass Corona over there, John. And you pulling shit out the refrigerator and I'm sitting here drinking lukewarm shit. Like a fucking Somalian ostrich. I feel like I'm well, drinking well water. Well, don't need mad anyway, shit. We about to be off any minute. I'm drinking well water over here. He got ice cold shit out of <laughs> I'm telling my ice cold. This shit got frosting on the motherfucker. You see, that's how I knew this shit was cold when he came over. Told you how disrespectful he is. Told you. He ain't used to be like that. Now, I think it's the job. He ain't used to be like that. There's too much brown around me. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Too much brown around me? Yeah, he got like light skin. He don't like brown. Well, you in trouble because you the only light skin motherfucker in here. You in trouble. You know what I'm saying? He paper bag tan. He ain't even light skin. My fault. You like brown skin. You like a weed. You look like a big old weed sack. Remember when the weed sack used to come in that Manila envelope? (laughs) You Manila envelope tan, nigga. (laughs) Try and act bougie. You look like you look like a ten dollar bag with fourteen joints in it. Man, you used to get it from Martha. You look good. You look good as a Donald weed. <laughs> 14 joints worth. And that's back in the day when niggas were rolling Girl, it easy. What else you got in the first way to cold, okay? No, they was rolling the top paper. You know, top paper, you had to use two pieces and lick the one piece. Mm. But, but you had to go to school to do that shit, or your one piece be on the other side. You had to get that shit perfect. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think people still. The motherfuckers got tired of fucking that shit up, so they graduated easy to some water. easy water. Because easy I water came out in one big sheet, and it was thinner. You telling you back in your joint days, I ain't smoked a joint since 1980, have you? He ain't smoked a joint since 1957. Nineteen fifty seven, I remember, Kevin. Kev ain't smoked a joint since a joint smoked him. Tally! Last week. And where the hell is your ass at? You bullshitting, you watching, but you ain't the fuck up here talking shit with us. Early two thousand eight, eight, ninety nine, two thousand. I'll leave that to the shit talkers. Oh, Harley Davis's third editions. That's the last time, bro. Tally said he ain't buying no more Timberlands. I'm glad you don't, bro. 
Is it me? Is Timberland just stealing money now? Timberland's gonna always be around. No, Even Timberland's the bullshit. Down, they they been, been down. No yeah, them motherfuckers been down. The soul ain't well, yeah. any high fuck. Ain't yeah. gonna up another They just uh, they just some suede fucking boots. Yeah, I'm That's it. I to buy these two pairs every year. Timberland's used to be sturdy. And yep. then you can't drop shit on yep. them. Yep, nothing. I think if I'm out to They want hit a quitters. I have to buy $200 boots and then buy a $15 can of yeah, waterproof spray. Y'all should waterproof these yep. motherfuckers. $200, man, for a pair of Tim. Or you go to the Aki's and get them for 65 I just be able to drop some well water on these motherfuckers and they you not get You might get a stay. better pair of Aki's. <laughs> Cause they run them drones in the stores is dick Aki like got them cornbreads, but you gotta you gotta make sure they the right ones. With the Aki, you gotta rub them one way and rub them another way. See what colors they change. Cause some of the Aki's be cornbread, cornbread. They look like some oatmeal. Yeah, yeah. yeah now, yeah, like uh, Limerick and all them. Yeah. You can go to the outlet. Like yep. Yeah. And it's so funny. I and know, then, you know, black people bougie with their Timberlands. They only like the one with the, the one leather piece. So I went down to the hmm? outlet one day. Bought the with the yeah, yeah, my chuckies ain't the same either. The black ones, the Jones, they, yeah. Jones, yeah. they, they just threw them Jones like, together too. Inside. They sink in, yeah. Yeah, they flip, y'all care. Even them Jones used to be sturdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was for where though. Yeah, them Jones didn't. That's a whole other story. Butt naked. The yeah, that was for weird ass. Yeah, that was for weird ass. Cornbreakers, they got more names than Timberlands. That's how you know Beaver black people Brockley. set Timberlands on fire. Timberland, listen. Timberland would have never made that much money if black people wasn't wearing that shit. And we ain't doing nothing yeah. constructive yeah. in our neighborhood. Come on, let's wrap it up. Okay. Thank everybody for tuning in. Globaltune.com. Watching our shenanigans. Thank everybody for tuning in. So we having a sipping shop. I mean a sip and smoke next week. We're gonna bring in some cigars, we're gonna bring in some yak, and we're gonna get to our shenanigans. And we'll have a lineup for y'all so we'll know exactly what type of bullshit that we're gonna be talking about this week. Or next week. Same so we shit, just want to thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, make sure y'all go to globaltunes.com and uh, sign in, subscribe, download that. Make sure y'all check out that philly.hiphop.com, web, philly.hiphop website. If I say dot com, get on. We can even slap me and shit. They know what we're talking about. No, Please. listen, we had a whole discrepancy about this last week. Okay, we'll y'all make sure y'all go down to Gory's restaurant. Give them that address, cousin. 5514 Rise of Sun Avenue. I'm open from 12 to 11 from Monday to Sunday. Can they do y'all do phone orders? Yes, we do. What's your phone one, number? And in one minute, my phone number is 267-335-4413. 5514 Rise of Sun Avenue. I got soul food and African food. And make sure... And make sure y'all uh, come on down to Lord Ninja Pound, the business, to all 2609 Germantown all. Avenue, uh, 267-764-1106. That's 2609 Germantown Avenue for all your latest apparel, you know, your custom clothing, and anything you need. Supporters, like I said, supporters. we'll be here Thank next week, same time, same back channel, and we out. Used to have the, you know what? Let me hop out, pop out, boy, at 2609 Germantown. Hey, one of the hottest clothing stores in Philadelphia. You gotta go check them out, boy. Damn, boy, little Ninja Perro. Yeah, he the business. Damn, that bike is giving on the business with all them speakers on it, boy. I could be loud as hell in the morning waking everybody up if I wanted to. Dang, what? Oh my goodness, what? Gmail, what's your little orthopedic shoe wearing behind the door here, huh? I'm here for the business, huh? and I bought briefcases what? for everybody. Oh, yeah, there's a clothing line. I ain't say bring briefcases. What? I'm saying about that business. Well, you, you want some weird stuff, Gmail? Weird? Yeah, you wish your hand didn't cramp up, huh? You better do it yourself, huh? <laughs> but anyway, boy, I'm just letting y'all know, boy, the business show, Wednesday, 8 p.m., Global Tunes Radio, sponsored by Little Ninja Apparel. What you thought, it was just apparel? No, she doing big things. You need to get at this lady. You go in there and check out. She gonna take care of you. She got hats, shirts, everything, whatever. I don't care what it is. You, you, you she don't got it, she will make it for you. Come out, boy. That's 13, a chubby skittle.